so much, uh, but it is one of those things that is such a better tale to tell uh, when I have you, since you're the one it happened to. I mean, I was there. It happened to me. You're the one who did the thing. Yeah. Uh, and so bad friend. <laughs> it, it, it happened to me. No, anyways. Uh, and so I will get excited because when I try to tell that story to people, I will, if he's there, so that I'll grab him and be all excited. Be like, Come here, you have to tell the story. Like way too hyper about it. And it's just like, people are like, I don't understand what's happening at all. And if Dave Crispy and I are there. Are we perfect. live? Yeah. Let's tell the. Uh, perfect. The, okay. We can tell the so. Allen wrench part as well. Yes. And yeah. then the. Uh, uh, oh, that's where the I'm best like, thing oh, that's that the happened. best thing that's happened to me. And you're like, oh, that oh. is. Not your best buddy Panda coming to visit you. No. Screw him. <laughs> well, the fact that that Alan Ridge stayed behind in my ear for an entire day and that I completely forgot it was back there was pretty tops. At that point, it's just a day wrench. <laughs> Instead of an Alan Ridge, it's a day wrench. I think there was a PE key too, which is funny because uh, I was teching like, you know, Titman's his destroyer key. No, Planet Eclipse. Uh, but the the Planet Eclipse velocity adjustment size is the same throughout all the uh, versions of Planet Eclipse guns. So it is the the number one key that people steal out of Gallant kits. So it's also funny that it was just happening behind my ear. That's the ten millimeter socket. Yeah, yeah, basically. It's also the key that works on die guns. It's also the key that works on a couple others because there's like PE keys and Lux keys. Those are the two sizes that basically everybody uses for that. And so you either need one or the other, generally. Let's talk about this the other day, but I was looking at paintball guns and stuff. Like, just a look because it's been a minute since I've worked at anything like that. And man, like the. Uh, the woods ball like zones kind of gone down uh, like the cool thing is there's a lot of mag fed guns and something like that people are trying to like edge into the like, airsoft more like yes. style uh but you know uh, i'm hearing myself and i can't think when i hear myself uh i'm doing that weird thing because i'm hearing myself x number of seconds ago uh Totally throws off your brain when that happens. Oh uh, yes, the pink pool. Uh, and they got some cool looking designs uh, for paintball guns nowadays. Like oh, man, the new like dye woods ball gun that I can't think of what it's called, but it's a DM something um, that they came out with like a year or two ago is no shameless plug for dye. Sponsors now. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Um, my paintball team is sponsored by Dr. Oh, okay. Nice. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no, you know Shasta's going after us first. Yeah, oh, yeah, totally. We, do, we give them way Shasta. too much. Sorry, everyone. Shasta I would have been and back then sooner, but I had to, you know, refill nice. the refreshing taste of Shasta Diet Shasta. Root Beer. Anyway. Let me push this Diet Coke out of frame. Uh, <laughs> it's still in frame. Wow. Yeah, it's still in frame. <laughs> I know. If I push it out of frame, it will fall off the desk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where it belongs. <laughs> On the floor. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, out of range. I'm fucking spazzy today, and I will knock shit over. Got got the warning of winter storm on my laptop. It has a nice little pretty triangle icon with snow oh, in it. Uh, it's a little behind the times on that one. The die so DAM winter. assault matrix. Is that uh, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. that's good. That is pretty cool looking. Yeah, and they shoot great. They have die internals, so yeah, it's good shooting gun as well. Kind of looks looks a little mill Is it I mean, yeah. fed or is it? Uh, they make a mag fed version, I believe. Oh, I don't know if God. the one you're looking at is, but they do make one. Leave you guys alone for five minutes, and you start talking about boring ass paintball. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> paintball, paintball, yeah. John joke. On to more interesting topics. The weather. Okay. The weather. It was <laughs> raining today uh, when I woke up. And someone was like, What's the weather like down there? I was like, Oh, it's raining. And I looked out the window and it, had, it was like covered in snow. I was like, I've been awake for an hour. Where did yeah, this come from? Fast. Never mind, it's snowing. Yep. Usually we skip that in a yeah. yeah, they have already canceled school for tomorrow. They canceled it at like five o'clock. You know, what? Uh, I don't actually blame them. I imagine the roads are going to be pretty icy tomorrow. 
Yeah. You you say yeah, that, but so it's also supposed to be like 60 degrees on Friday, so it could start warming up pretty fast. For a day, it's going to be 60 degrees. We're evolving from voice live to face live. Oh, face, face live. live. Oh, yeah, face live. Hey, everything didn't skew all over the place. Face live. Face live. Hi, guys. Face live sounds like a thing already. I worked at retail stuff too long because the word skew is just SKU to me, you know, the uh -huh. uh, skew number. So anytime somebody says skew, I'm like, why are we talking about skew numbers? And then yeah. I realize they mean the word well, skew. think about I, this. <laughs> my brain is like, I, well, yeah, but that's what my brain skews? does automatically. I I'm still like, have to deal with this. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, me too. Who do so I, though, when I do it digitally at work? I have to do, uh, I need Look, skews. Oh, that's still bad. It's still yeah. bad. Yeah. What about this? My this inventory better? at work though is not that bad because I only if, have to inventory. Would you stop bragging? <laughs> yeah. If SKU is pronounced SKU, then why is it STU pronounced SKU? Because SKU, SKU is actually an acronym; it's not pronounced. Anyway. And because <laughs> we're weirdos, and by we I mean humanity, uh, or sapient beings, uh, we need to pronounce <laughs> the Shasta ad. Anyways, we need to uh, <laughs> pronounce us. our acronyms if they even <laughs> moderately remember, resemble. Remember, Patrick, an you're word. always on the uh, opposite. <laughs> I'm not, oh. I'm not disabling mir mirroring again. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's fair. That is I'll forget fair. to turn it back to read on. backwards, guys. Yep. It's Shasta. It's not that hard. Yeah, um. just just when when you watch this on YouTube, pause it. Go into the snipping tool and just cut that part out. <laughs> Jump into, like, Pixlr or something and just flip it around. <laughs> or, Easy. Like, ten or minutes of work. Just be like me and have dyslexia, and you can read stuff backwards is just as easily as you can read it forwards and upside down and sideways and backwards. You can I, read I can't. I can't do that. Three D images in my brain of words. Well, the problem with that is then words like bed and like other things. You're like, wh which one's the B? <laughs> I don't. I don't want the the side dyslexia. effects. Dyslexia. The side effects of dyslexia. Thank yeah. You. I remember being a little kid. And like, this is how I know I have dyslexia, but uh, it, even though I was never officially diagnosed with it as well, I couldn't figure out how to write bed for a long time. That word tripped me up real bad, right? And so the teacher had to show me, it's like, you make a bed with it. So it's like B, E, D, and then you make a line over it, put a little pillow. And I was like, I that's how you make bed that. every time. Do that? And yeah, that's and so like, fun. because of that, and whatever teacher I had in first grade, Mrs. Barr, that's a teacher I had in first grade. Uh, anyways, because of her, I could then do bed. So um, yeah. That's a good way to teach I don't know that. how to spell, but I can sure draw good. It's also why I struggled with spelling my entire, like, grade school, middle school, whatever. You know, when you have spelling tests and stuff. Worst class, by far. It's the only thing I tested bad in. I'm a good speller. I'm <laughs> not, but that's a side effect of Speaking dyslexia. of dyslexia, so whenever I was playing GURPS a while back, um, my character came from, like, a... In like a nice place and I was joining a group of people who were all like barbarians and ruffians and stuff <laughs> and um yeah they were like oh cool like your character's from here and whatever and like, at least we'll have someone who could read finally little did they know I had taken <laughs> the dyslexia flaw and you take flaw <laughs> like flaws and gurps are not it's like so you can you your character can have dyslexia right and be able to read and it's not like a thing that like actually cripples them when you take things as a flaw, it is that thing to the effect of being detrimental is why you take Ooh. a flaw. So yeah. so when you take the dyslexia flaw, you just can't read. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> it's, it's like extreme. And so they're all like, yeah, you'll be able to read. I'm like, joke's on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got antisocial. It only talks to animals. <laughs> can't in read. <laughs> okay. Well, Ellie is telling me to put it, put a cozy on this and make it a diet snazzy. Yep. <laughs> uh, I have. I do not own a cozy. A, I have a Hustle Kings one in this garage somewhere. I know I do. Uh, actually, it might actually be in my car. Uh, I also, don't drink cold canned soda. So like, this is always room temperature. We have a trailer that has a box. Full of the hundreds yeah. of them at work. We also like, sit in the garage where everything is cold. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I don't mind sitting yeah. cold. When I this is red, but it, basically it doesn't compensate, shit. so I don't you don't need a cozy. When I was getting this nice plaid shirt at the tractor supply, uh, they had a <laughs> bunch of uh, like the aluminum type koozies, like can things that were labeled like smoke grenades and oh, artillery shells and stuff like that. I was awesome. like, oh no, I won't. <laughs> 
I they were like it. 20 bucks. I'm like, I oh no, no, I was like, that, that gimmick gets old because I, one, if I got them, I would want to get one of each because <laughs> yeah. the smoke grenade, the white phosphorus, the, you know, high explosive, and stuff like that. Also, uh, idea number two is we need to get a koozie that has the uh, exact same print as Shasta, but backward or mirrored. <laughs> so we can hold <laughs> it in the camera. It in so, in the so Patrick, direction. if we ever do do a, a that's uh, funny, a, do a uh, uh, actual do, ad. ad read or something like that, we that's have fantastic. it. <laughs> Speaking of ad reads, Panda, <laughs> we're on it. Tonight. We're doing an ad read in the break. One of us is somehow. We're finding a way. Oh. We're going to do an ad read, even if yep. you don't have one written. We're doing it. Shut the ad. Read. I'll make it up. That's not, fine. Not yeah. during. Not during session. Pay attention. Yeah. Clashes in session. Starts typing right now. Clashes in session. <laughs> Clash. Clashes. 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 They broke up a long ass time ago, or somebody died. I don't know. I didn't follow that band. <laughs> so, fair enough. Anyways, Clash of the session. Peace if that bothers me. Don't oh, fuck it. Did y'all hear what? that? Died? <laughs> Who? Yeah. Oh, bacon. <laughs> oh my god. That kid. Ooh. That's an old bit. That's a that really is old stop derailing. It's, it's a really old bit. Molly, you said you're gonna give the recap yes. today. <laughs> yeah, not gonna be All super right. great, but it is gonna be a recap. That's fine. I need to recover from this brain aneurysm I had. I have no <laughs> idea where it came from. But... <laughs> really? <laughs> Just happened like that? Random. Gosh. <sighs> so last time on Into the Storm, um, we basically started our day. And that day started for. It would help. If... I'm sorry. I'm looking started. at. Yes, I told you <laughs> it'd be a great, great. Um, they started for Lamia. There we go. Um, doing a training and saying she's gonna treat Patty to a gift. Patty panicked and was like, "Well, what do you like?" And Lamia's like, "I like cheap stuff." And then she went to go try and finish Hattie's uh, poncho after their training. And then Eli got to first w- get a guy who was like, oh, I thought I was, I, mean, I thought this was a restaurant. Can I have this cracker? And Eli's like, go for it. And cracker guy. Love him. Can't wait to see him again in the future. Um, then got into a meeting with one of the people for the people that are trying to buy his lease. The the Modric heart, hearth. And it essentially boils down to it kind of sounded like a mafia buyout. <laughs> but he like did not compromise. Was like, nah, still good. Just gonna stay here. And etc. Um Samuel decided to I mean his um good old it's a hawk, right? Yes. Yeah, his good old hawk was <clears throat> finally fixed. And Samuel decided, okay, I'm going to introduce you to Ginger. Fixed means something else when you're talking about animals. (laughs) Oh, you're right. right. I didn't even Uh, think uh, about that. Oh, that's funny. He's just been (laughs) fucking all these other birds. We just couldn't stop him. So finally. (laughs) He was here for two hours already. (laughs) Um, So they got to be introduced to one another. um, Very... I mean, I'm pretty sure I remember them both basically both being hesitant toward each other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then let's see. We basically end up meeting up with each other and discussing. Well, what's what? We, what should we do next? And Lamia was one. Hey, guys, want to help me with the menace job? And Eli was like, Yeah, I guess we could. Um, but let's just do the confirmation about the job and see where we can if we can possibly find out where exactly these bandits are so that we don't you know waste time and we can go to the spooky scary story thing tonight so we did that went to the base basically got a map of where the bandits are so good stuff and then we went past time essentially to go to 
the coin collar. Uh, the play was canceled because uh, food poisoning, if I remember correctly. Yeah, blah. And Eli and Samuel hear music, each two different types of genres. Not and to interrupt you, but I'm going to interrupt you real fast. Sorry, we just got a new follower, and I just want to say thank you to Summit Snake who just followed us. Now you can keep talking. Oh, thank yes, Thank you. I was watching. <laughs> Someone <laughs> somehow hadn't followed yet. <laughs> well, now you have, so thank you. Yeah, thank you. <gasps> oh, thank you. More shameless books. And drink shots. Oh, he can't hear you, Patrick. Are you I muted my muted? mic. Oh. Holy crap. Oh. Thanks, oh, no. I forgot. I muted it while I was typing because I didn't want to just be typing <laughs> during the, the recap. But yes, hi, Snake. Uh, thank you very much and well. Apollo, can't wait to see you on Saturday. Hopefully your voice is doing better. Go ahead, just mm. Um. Yeah, so they, they were hearing different types of genre of music. And Lamia started hearing a guy who was attempting comedy, but was doing a very, very poor job of it. Oh, also, uh, we got another follower. Xylomos, sorry. Oh, nope. hi, thank you. Hey, it's Xylomos. Hey, all the whole, all of, is, is all of Dalaric's channel starting to, tar starting to flood over here finally? <laughs> About time. But yes, thank you, Zalamos. I appreciate the follow. We are currently in the middle of uh, Giselle giving the recap for our last session, so probably a good time to join. If, you, if you're going to stick around, if not, you can lurk, whatever, you know, no pressure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And being Go too ahead. polite to heckle a weird ghost that was terrible at comedy. Well, uh, she wasn't 100% polite, but she went to the bar, was like, hey, is this normal? And like, yeah. And then she was like, mm, okay. Here's a gold piece. I'm going to getting out of here. I feel like that's pretty polite. You could have heckled. Like you leaving a comedy show is significantly more polite than heckling and then leaving a comedy show. And you paid your tab. Not everybody does that. Some people just try and dope out on those things, man. They're rude. So Lamia yeah. went to go um, basically sleep for the rest of the night, supposedly. Meanwhile, we got two spooky, I mean, three scary, scary stories. I, I did the hyphen for one person in specific of a Wendigo. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> he, no, he didn't try his best. I was going to say, he tried his best. <laughs> no, he did he not. didn't at all. I, I don't believe this man has ever told the story before. <laughs> <laughs> um, Samuel told the story of a scarecrow that moves at night, essentially. And Eli told the story of, I guess... Death in the shadow, kind of like I'll, I'll admit, like even going over it this video today, I was like, I'm not entirely sure what was the point of the story, it's okay. but it was still we ran scary. out of time, that's for sure. Yeah, um, that's very true. So, and sometime during the night after they finished their scary stories and got their beers or not their beers, whatever they got wanted to drink, we basically they basically dispersed for the night. Lamia, on the other hand, is having a wonderful dream. Adrenaline rushing. She's going to eat a big old antelope. Got some, like, a huge hawk. Got a bear and lions just chasing after this antelope. And, man, what is that annoying sound? I'm going to go kill that while everyone's trying to eat this antelope. And under her arm, I mean, in hand, it's Rahala waking her up just to say hi. And... Hmm... No, no good. So Lamia uh, basically says sorry and basically kicks herself out of the, the inn and sleeps peacefully for once outside. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. I thought you were choking her. Weren't you choking her or something? I forget. Uh, basically. Okay. <clears throat> but she could still talk, so it wasn't 100% choke. And Lamia did have the thought of maybe I should just squeeze her and <laughs> burst. Uh, yeah, that's why Lamia noped. Yeah. Ooh, I almost had a tasteless joke in chat, and I'm so glad that I have developed this thing called a filter, and occasionally <laughs> it clicks on. And man, oof, wow. 
anyway i will say sure having that. to type something <laughs> out is definitely like a good thing for a filter yeah see there you go so, yeah, the, yeah. The, it only happens when he's trying to type things he doesn't have a verbal filter it's just typing you're right because it has to go through an extra step in his brain asking when did this happen yeah that's um, what I'm I, mm, probably about the age of 16 when i was afraid that i would somehow be blocked from moving out of my house if i got in too much trouble so um it, it's not a, i listen i didn't say it's a good filter i didn't, <laughs> i don't even say it's on most of the time just occasionally when you know all the shit that rattles around in my brain sometimes the piece will like knock the lid closed and i'll have to look twice at something that was about to come through and that happened so i'm gonna delete what i typed so anyway um yes thank you giselle and would anyone like to add anything to the recap before we begin um i know samuel bought some inconsequential stuff but he does he did buy stuff yeah how do you know it's inconsequential maybe it's consequential yeah. to him that lantern I mean... hat might come in dire need <laughs> The, the headlight for you it might <laughs> yeah right i mean the guy i mean you basically waved it off and like now it's here uh, i just want to say that uh during sam's story rahala and i basically pranked everybody in the uh the the bar including mm -hmm. including samuel himself yes because we set up a thing where i used like uh press education stuff and she like let her hair down and did like jumped out to be spooky right as he told this part of this like the scary part of the story and we i rolled like a nat 20 on the thing and it was just perfect and even sam was surprised by it which was fantastic so scaring ah. the, the storyteller with his own like support yeah. bit is pretty good those are missing it was basically just a rip off the uh you know long black haired uh, like asian ghost type thing Blonde style yeah creepiness yeah she had a ceramic goodness like, but creepiness, ceramic mask whatever, face. You know. yeah. yep so um yeah. do you remember what what the uh, what the plan was to do next i think the we were dude it's... marked our map for the the menace job so i think we were gonna go there and scout out what we could see because my plan is still to talk the avarok out of helping them so we don't have to do anything but yeah <laughs> Um, yep, I do believe you were going to head out and handle that there menace job, which we'll do. Let's, uh, let's, let's head over to the job board real quick. We'll have Giselle read that for our folks. Um, we need this to go over here. Oh, uh, no. Additional question. There we go. So, yeah, Are we starting off on the next morning? I mean, uh, more than I, likely. I believe so. Hold on. Yes, 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 we are. Next day. Okay. Is there something you were wanting to do specifically? Uh, wool. Wool? Wool. Wool, yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Oh, Gotta do wool. that wool growth. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Roll for do wool. do that while you read it out. So. Wool. Roll for wool. Uh, Samuel Goodbean has a shorse, which is a sheep horse, so it grows wool. Just one percent. I mean, you had like two percent at like every time for a while until just now. Yeah. Just wait till they start getting bonuses. Right. It has fifty percent of its coat. Nice. Exactly halfway. Uh, that's still that's a that's pretty it's pretty woolly shorts. Okay, hell yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna go do this again. That. Okay. That's oh. on. Yeah, it is on there. Okay, cool. Woman Snake asks which system it is. It is, uh, it is Pathfinder, yeah. Yeah. First edition, Pathfinder. Menace. Some shitty gang of miscreants is terrorizing people on their way between Psycon and Kashyyyk. Kashi. It, it doesn't sound right to my mouth Kashig. movement. Kashi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they've got an Avarak with them and they're strong arming travelers for protection. 
There's eight guys in the wood there, including the big one. Armed, probably dangerous. The military is taking their sweet time, but I got permission to offer 1,000 GP reward for ridding the road of them. I bet if they didn't have the muscle, they'd fuck off. Toaster, anonymous. Check at the fortress or something for the reward. And then the official military symbol. As a signature. Mm. That is indeed menace. So you d you guys did get your your map marked by because you did you did swing by the the fortress uh, Sycon Fortress, and you did get the map marked by some of the soldiers, who are clearly kind of raring to go to fight something. Maybe a little bit disappointed that they're not able to just like go out here and wreck these bandits themselves. But uh, you know they're willing to pay for it, which is great. And that uh, thousand gold is not not a tiny amount. It is not. It's pretty delicious, especially considering that you've been threatened with ro with uh, rising rent in the near future. But uh, let's go ahead and jump back over to the Sycon map. Actually, no, that's not a good one for this. We're gonna go to the map map. You know, map. It's the map. It's the map. Oh, it's so blurry right now. There we go. Well, it's got to load. Uh, well, it's taken too fucking long. <laughs> so, I've been told that they are... Uh, what's a good token for a bandit? Hold on. Raccoon. No. I mean, he's not wrong. I don't, I don't have a raccoon token. <laughs> I'm trying to. Just, I'm looking just in my library, okay? Of, of, of bullshit I've got. We'll use these. Sword. Geek sword. That works. Oh, Ellie says sword. a turkey. Tur turkeys for bandits. Yeah. Explain. Because they're turkeys. I mean, I got a story about a turkey. Or do you mean like ones. the flag of the country of Turkey? I feel like that's then we got to oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, their yeah, shotguns are well that. made. How dare you? <laughs> shotguns are well made. This old guns a lot. Fucking <laughs> turkeys. Yeah. But I didn't have a story about a turkey sneaking up on me in the woods. That's about it. Whoa. Whoa. <clears throat> so okay, I marked it. I think you should be able to see that. Let's, uh, let's have this one zoom in a little but bit. it was between Saikon and Kashyyyk. It, it is. I actually realize it's not in the right place. Um, here we go. It is... Let's see, Northwoods. Here we go. We're going to be up there. Okay. I mean, that's a shorter trip, so I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's up in familiar woods for you, in fact. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um... Let me just check my... I have to cross-reference it with my notes, which don't have a picture. I just have a description. So, there we go. Yeah, that's the right place. Yeah, it's about this was the, mark. was the only job of the left one, or remaining ones that I thought could be possible to do in a day. Which might take a minute or two. Short uh, job. I mean, it's the only it's... one that doesn't have long travel time, though. In, in, in game time, it's definitely going to take longer than a minute or two, but you know. Yeah. Still the only one that doesn't have, like, almost a week's travel. Yeah, it's a little over a day on foot. If you're on, <sighs> if you're on uh, horses, then less than a day. Yeah, uh, less so. than a well, day. Luckily for us, we yes, have two you. horses and a horse. Yeah. Well, granted, you will have to actually locate the bandits first. Mm -hmm. We're mostly gonna, unless you, <laughs> depending on how you do, this will mostly be a skill challenge. But we'll see how this turns out. Can we so, go uh, Castlevania on them and just uh, use ourselves as bait? <laughs> <laughs> oh I mean, no! You can I am out here in the woods, lost and alone, with all this jingle, jingle, jingle money. Anyways, <laughs> that's a good show. Um, <laughs> So, so yeah, I guess, uh, what is your approach? I know, uh, so Eli, I know you wanted to potentially just convince the Avarok to leave them and hope that they are like, oh no, our muscle, and, and scatter. But as far as, like, your initial approach, obviously you're not going to be able to just walk up to these people and start talking one of their members down without getting arrows fired at you or crossbow bolts. Um, yeah. 
That's see, that's a good question. Given Sam man. PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> A good question that I uh, wish I had a good answer to. But at the moment, uh, I think my only answer is that... uh, Is there... Okay, do I know of anything or do we know of anything between these two cities that would be like a watering hole style place where people just kind of stop and hang out like a traveler rest stop that might... These people might frequent every once in a while to either get booze or supplies or whatever right? Ellie says oh, oh no my money is jingling so loud <laughs> yeah. it's the best thing it's so silly that is a good question um, I will let you roll um, we'll say knowledge local or knowledge geography for this alright I have one of those that is local that is local It's a fairly low DC because I know you've actually passed through that region multiple times. Perfect. Nice. There we go. Um, let's see. You would know of... Oh, God. Here we go. Uh, do, do, do. Does that know what that token is called? Hmm. There it is. You know of a little, like shoreline village just over here a little fishing village um that uh they don't necessarily they're not like famous for you know having good drink or whatever but there's a lot of people there that that brew so it is it's kind of a, a popular spot to stop through if you've got a small party Okay, I, I think that would definitely be our first destination because then we could kind of ask around uh, if anybody's seen Novrock because that's an easy thing to see if anybody's seen and see if we can find him to chat. Seen Novrock? Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, they're <laughs> like recently. Oh yeah. no, yes. <laughs> Novrock are not uh, ever half dwarf, half orc, uh, or Avar Rakag in this world. They make um, an impression. Yeah, they make an impression. They're also big. Big. So, <laughs> get up to around seven-ish feet tall, broad, brawny. They are pretty tough to miss. Big, bright red eyes. Don't like the light. Uh, so, yeah, you know there's a place like this. You're going to go and stop there and try to ask around a little bit first and see if you can pinpoint the location a bit more. Yep. Cool. You guys travel with your horses. Mm-hmm. And bird. A little under a day. About half a day's ride, actually. And bird, yeah. Your burb. Halfling-sized bird. <laughs> burb. Good thing I'm a holding. Yeah. So get there, and we're going to do a diplomacy check to gather the information. Uh, is anyone going to assist? <clears throat> nope. Uh, Not, nope. I, I'm terrible. I For some reason, my diplomacy always goes very badly for me. Yeah, that would just be a straight charisma check. Because I have got a beat of 10 to give him plus two. Uh, sure. I'll do it. <clears throat> just don't roll terribly. <laughs> oh, wait, are no. you? No. You said it's straight, so you're not trained. No. Nope. Uh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, well, you don't have to be trained necessarily. And this is fine. Okay. So that's going to be a plus two for you, Eli. So that's plus four total because this is gathering information. Yep. Yeah, you're, you're doesn't have affable to counts. I am indeed affable. Which is good, because that was a bad roll. <laughs> that was a terrible roll. But yes, it's a... I mean, it's terrible on the die. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Your result's still freaking ridiculous for a fourth level character. Um, yeah. The bonuses help out. Definitely. Mm-hmm. 17, um, yeah, the, you get some of them talking about it, and you, you meet up a few of the locals. Um... Start asking about an Avarok, and they open up, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we, we know you're talking about those those highwaymen that they've been they've been messing up people on the road and stuff. They leave us alone, you know, for the most part, which which is nice. But you know, we're kind of afraid to travel. They're they're definitely just just east of here. Uh, they they've been through the village, you know, not too long ago. I think it's just been a couple of days. They came through and." Uh, threw down some coin for a couple of barrels of ale and uh, bought a, I don't know, they brought uh, Gradix a couple of his sheep. Uh, I guess they may have been running low on food or something and uh, headed back out east. 
I doubt they've gone too far. There's been a few caravans that have come through and such complaining about it, but uh, it's otherwise been quiet since then. Uh, so this is pretty recent then. They like went through a couple days ago? Yeah, two days okay. back. Two days back. All right. So they're not going to come back here for a while then. So I guess we've got to find them. Please tell me somebody has a better plan than me just using us as bait so we can talk to these blokes. Um, I don't know. You, Sam, why don't you and your um, bird try and see if you can track them? Well, no. Even if we find them, we still have to use ourselves as bait to get them to talk to us. Because if we like walk up there and like knock on where they're hiding and be like, hey, man, you want to chat? They're just going to try and kill us. <laughs> oh, well, we might want to join them. You never know that. I mean, you can always try to isolate some of them, depending on where right. you find them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I I was trying to say that maybe if we can just find, because you intended just to talk to the Avarak, right? <laughs> right. So if he can find where he is, kind of, we, there is a potential that he's well, just by himself, so we can just kind of... There, potentially, but I still see that being an issue in that separating them, because they're probably staying as a group, probably in one location. Isolating and separating a single person, especially someone that big, is Deep. difficult. Yes, without some form of distraction, hence us using ourselves as bait is what I'm getting at. And I want a better plan than that for when we do find them, because I don't like that plan particularly. I think she has a point, though. Scouting is going to get you information rather than running. I'm not saying it's yeah. not. I'm saying I need a better plan after that. I'm not worried about the finding them part right now. I'm worried about the once we find them part, what do we do? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now before we leave. And if nobody has a better idea, that's fine. We'll just wing it. But I mean... No, he's not talking to you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Well, yeah, we, uh, we, we, we could definitely, you know, probably... Sleuth him out. No, she's losing it. No, no, she's fine. <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can probably like you know suss him out, but uh, I'm just saying everyone has to go pee. Yeah, but sure, like, <laughs> everyone does have to go pee. But like, that's not what. No, you, okay. you don't want to just walk up next to the other rock, just be like, hey, man. No, nice guy. I, I, I do not <laughs> you know, just walk up to the peeing of a rock and assume he's not going to immediately alert his fellows to assault Sorry, us. Sorry, buddy, you're bad eye level. It couldn't really help but notice. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a power move just to go up and start being next to him. blokes are sterile. <laughs> <laughs> just walk up to him and also start peeing <laughs> just to start a conversation. Hey, uh, while we're both here, and it's like, yeah. I guess we could get a like if we don't have a good plan set up now we could just uh, figure out where they are and probably see what the situation is from there because you know they they might not be tight knit they might you know all be doing their own thing you know he might you know he's a bigger guy I know uh, you know uh, my, my bigger brothers they would always get like the heavy jobs like going to get firewood and stuff like that and they do that by themselves so I mean, let's hope they're just ramshackle and have no real plan, because if not, if they're any kind of organized, it's going to be a lot harder. So, yeah. But yeah, I guess we just wing it, and then I'll look at the bird and point at it. But, I mean, you do have to fly for this, but... Yeah, now he's talking to you. Uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, Gleninja... So Sorry, you can't type Greninja, so it's too close to the Pokemon Greninja. But yeah. no, I, I, I realized I couldn't type that and make it make sense. Uh, oh, yeah. Videator? Uh, hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's the plan, guys? Um, try and, try and track them. Try and find them, yeah. See, we and can find them first. Plan go from there. around what we see. Yeah. All righty. Uh, uh, is that gonna be stats. is that gonna be salmon bird or is everybody going? I mean, we're all gonna go, 
because I don't want to leave him by himself. But it's a good way for me to get shot with arrows. Yeah, well, I, so... I just don't feel like I'm going to be much help, but I can still try and assist. But okay. just checking. Cool. Oh, so you guys are going to head back out, head east a little bit, and see if you can't pick up a trail on these folks. Mm-hmm. I did narrow the window because you did find some information, so the DC is not going to be quite as high. So, Sam. <laughs> Um, for this check, you can go with Knowledge Geography, Survival, or Perception as primary checks. If there's something you think will work better and you'd like to use, you can try that, but it'll likely be a higher DC. Yeah, I'll go with one of those. I guess, uh, my Survival and Perception are the same. I'll go with Survival because that makes more sense to me in this okay. sense. Um, uh, who's going to assist? Able to... Okay. Themselves. Hey, I... I will assist as well. Um, we do it with the same thing that he's trying to do, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So okay. the same skill. Okay. No minuses or pluses. What's your oh, What's your perception bonus? Oh, because you're using perception, right, Sam? No, he's using survival. No, he's using survival. Oh, survival. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I was. Never mind. Because perception is be higher, to so assist would... with. But yeah, yeah, survival go for it. her. Survival is definitely higher than mine, but okay. There you go. Zero. Okay, take a plus three. That's over 20. Plus three. Okay. It's for Bivol. Three. Uh, are we in a forest? This would be a forest, yes. Okay. So. <gasps> it pays to ask that question. <laughs> so plus five, then, because I got two bones. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Before I roll and get something yeah. very good and roll, you know, I have to re roll and get bad. Uh, All right. I say that. Yeah. No, you did really good. Jeez. Yeah, you know, when the DC total. is not that bad now. <laughs> yeah. Um, not only are you able to f- pick up a, pick up their trail, but you actually can pick out their number. Oh. Um, what number are their shoe sizes? Y- no. You <laughs> get uh... that there are, there are actually 14 of them. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> That lying piece of sheet. But when you're... You may not know. When you're kind of examining the different... uh, Like the different prints and things like that. um, Something's a little off. Let me see. 29? How much does that beat that by? (laughs) A shitload. Okay. Um... Okay, yeah, you count seven of them seem like the the uh the, the prints are of like 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 heavier like like heavier prints, heavier boots, like equipment, that kind of stuff. Um that you would think might be like armed people or people wearing armor. Um and the rest of them, some of them are about uh f- four of the other ones are barefoot. Which is like completely barefoot tracks. Um, let's see. That's two more are uh, they seem like they're wearing like some kind of like <clears throat> some kind of wrappings on their feet but are not wearing actual shoes. Um, and the last one you can definitely tell was the Avara. Stands out a lot. Much, much bigger footprint. Who you can also tell is well armored, apparently. <clears throat> so even deeper than normal. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I will relay that information. I'll say, well, how many did that guy say their their number was word? Um, the paper said I believe ten. Eight. Oh, it was eight. eight. Damn. Uh-huh. And you said some of them are barefoot. Yeah, like uh, some of them are definitely like. They're either, you know, they're wearing boots. They're they're definitely wearing armor uh, based on the prints. And the, this, uh, like, I just hold up a hand that's you know, <laughs> like Bigfoot, you know, uh, thing. Talk about the Avarok prints. Uh, that would be a. 
So maybe... <sighs> maybe they took people? So can yeah. you have kidnapped some people? Six people, yeah. Like maybe they, uh, you know, ransacked or took some people for ransom or something. Uh, or maybe it's... There's people that like uh, that are there that may not be you know, part of the gang, like the fighting force, but could be. Yeah. So that's something we need to keep an eye out for. Non-combatants. But yeah. So let's find them and stake out where they are. Then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is more to your check, actually. I, oh, I turned the uh, music down a little bit. Okay. See if that helps. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> you guys kind of have that discussion. Um, see, Sam, you kind of, you, you move ahead a little bit, obviously, because you're really the lead on this. Um, mm -hmm. but you do eventually find their actual camp. And let me remove that aura there, now that you've pinpointed it. You managed to find their actual camp. Um, you don't get super close. You get close enough that you can, um, kind of during the day, you can see that there's a little bit of smoke uh, coming up where they've they've lit like a, like a fire to, to cook. You smell like food and some other things. You can faintly hear some voices uh, from the distance, uh, but you know it'd be riskier to get. Too, like close enough to actually listen to conversations or like actually scope out a number that's going to be a little bit more risk that'll be the next phase of our challenge um do you want to try to figure out how to approach them now or now that you've located them fall back and figure out the rest of your plan um no? personally i think it would be best to if you could sneak up on them to get kind of an idea of what's going on I cannot uh, sneak. Um, let me do it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of the two one. of us, I think I can sneak a little better. Mm -hmm. I have bonuses, but I also roll way worse, so let's find out. <laughs> um, are you sure you don't want him with you in case something breaks out? I mean, You're both probably I make pretty a good distraction. Since yeah. he also has a force bonus. That is yeah. true. So yeah, we can both sneak up there. Then, uh, okay. so we'll both sneak up there. You, I will be listening don't do out. Anything? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. In, unless you, I don't know. If I think you're in like, trouble, unless the bird shows up and starts squawking, then I guess do yeah. everything. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll send the hawk to you if, if stuff goes awry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, very oh, yeah. helpful little bird. Play the I say to the weird. very large bird. <laughs> Um, anyways. What did you say? Uh, the playlist the playlist didn't switch when I told it to. That's fine. I'll just switch. It oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> it's the Can upbeat get... playlist. I just saw the Xylo. I was like, man, this music is funky. I was like, what the hell? I would describe the music. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. For funky sure. music. Um, okay. So you guys are going to sneak up. So this is how we're going to handle this. Um, so Sam, what is your stealth bonus? Uh, the total, or yeah, yeah, your your, your total bonus. Yeah, uh, three, uh, nine, nine no, no, oh, Christ. Three. Okay, sorry, I keep looking at the wrong place. Six. <laughs> sorry. A total of six with all your bonuses. Uh, six. Do, do I get a stealth bonus in the forest? That's your ability. I thought it was only. Toggle it. Terrain. Yeah, poop it. Poop oh, yes. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. They were terrain. Yeah. Yeah. So additional plus two. So you're at a so, total of plus uh, eight for, to stealth? Yes. Eight. Yes. Okay. And then, uh, Eli, what, what is your total stealth? So I'm going to boot my Cloak of Shadows real quick because I'm going to use that as well. So that gives me oh. a uh, bonus, a plus one bonus to stealth checks. Uh, and Penumbra so that I'm in shadow so that I definitely get the bonus. And then uh Oh. Uh oh no, your cloak of shadows is plus two, remember your fourth. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It used it was plus one earlier. Okay, so mm -hmm. then with the plus two from that I'll be eight. 
is my bonus. Oh, so you're you're even. Okay. Yep. You're even. <laughs> I was gonna say basically the the person with the lowest bonus is the one who who rolls the other one assists because we have to we have to accommodate for a weakest link in these, but doesn't matter. So I'm assuming, Dave, you want Panda to roll because you don't trust your. Yep. Dice. I want to roll to assist, and I want him to roll okay. for stealth. Exactly. Okay. okay, so we'll have you roll first, then, uh, Eli. See, the see, only thing that fails. see. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the only way you could fail to assist natural one. Yep. Okay, so uh, this so, is why we have you uh, roll the roll. Sam, you're you're just rolling your uh, your plus eight. Okay. Need your your forest, and that's it. Uh, <laughs> two. <laughs> The good news, Eli, is as you guys are, are sneaking up towards this area, uh, you do find a snail. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> snails! Snails forever. Oh, that's a very, awesome. A very tiny snail on a tree. It was, like, it was like smaller than you really thought snails could be. Because uh, you're not like some nature aficionado. But uh, a little bit, little bitty, bitty, little sky blue snail with uh, like, a, like a tan shell love it um and as you're noticing the snail um sam you're kind of creeping up and you start to kind of like move some some shrubbery and such aside um you hear up like up ahead of you uh, a few voices kind of stop you couldn't you couldn't tell what they were saying really but you can definitely hear this like sort of drop in noise and you start to hear something moving your direction. I'm assuming you guys bail at this point. <laughs> or do you try to hide? Um, I think bail is probably the smarter thing. So you guys just start backtracking, like, mm, let's not be here when they get here. Yeah. Right. Yep. So you bail, you fall back for now. That's a fail on the stealth for now. Um... Do you guys, do you, are you guys going to just like kind of pull back like maybe a mile or two and make camp? Or are you going to fall back all the way to the, the village for now? How far are we from said village? A mile or two versus. Uh, let's see. The village is about 11 miles away. You still so... get there before nightfall, basically, because this uh, m uh, most of this uh, didn't take too long. OK, I think village is probably a better idea. It's far less likely we just get attacked in the middle of the night if we go to the village. Heck, they might they might come because, you know, L doesn't last long with bandits, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, it's only been two days, but who knows? Anything could happen. I think we're far more likely to run into them in an advantageous situation in the village than we are out here in a camp, right? If we're way more likely to just get, like, jumped in the middle of the night out here. In the village, we could actually run into them in a pleasant situation. Yeah. Pleasant. Right, pleasant. I mean, pleasant in the fact that they're not trying to rob us. So that is one failure. Immediately. Cool. Excuse me, sorry. All right, so we Next head day rolls to the around. village. Yeah, you guys just go back, uh, find a place to stop for the night. Um, someone, let's see, there's three of you. Olamian does not sleep in a... Three horses. In, in the end. That's true, you won't. And a bird. Uh, I mean, if somebody will let us sleep in their barn or whatever, I'll rent a barn now. For a okay. night. So that way, you know, we have all the animals in one place. I'll sleep in a hay bale. Uh, roll me a quick diplomacy. Okay. Unassisted, uh, just we'll, Eli. Well, obviously, we'll give him some, some money, of course, to let us stay there, but... <laughs> now I roll good. <laughs> anyway, so you're you're trying to take care of this this whole bandit issue. So someone gladly lends you their barn. Excellent. You don't have to pay anything. Sweet. Barn. Yes. Uh, not I the like most bonds. comfortable you've ever been. You know, sleeping on hay bales and whatnot. But you know, it's better than being out in the rain. Yes. <clears throat> I like the smell of hay. Y'all don't like sleeping on hay. The smell of hay is Sam, fine, but the Sam smell of barn feels like is different. Is. Oh, <laughs> yeah. anyways, yeah. Reminds me of home. Uh. 
But uh, so you guys get a good night's rest. Do you immediately just like head back out and try again to, to get some reconnaissance? Or are you guys going to talk a little bit, try to figure out what you're, what else you're going to do? Um, I think if we are going to do recon, we should get up super early to do it. Like, you know, before the sun comes up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but if we're going to try and do something else, then we could wait a little longer. Let's, let's do some recon. Okay. Sounds good to me. So and also another night has early. passed. Another night yeah. has passed. Zavul growth. Another one percent. Just over half. Um, You'll get all your ones in the wool. That'd be pretty good. The wool it's a, on a scale it's a, of two. Yeah, so. it's a D two. <laughs> so. It's literally feast or hey, famine. Hey, hey. <laughs> if if that's how it works, I'm not going to complain. If you don't roll, which is ones still ludicrously that. fast for a, a, yes. a coat to grow. Mm-hmm. So I was going to make it a shorts. D4, and I was like, like, how fast do sheep's coats grow? And I was like, oh, God. Yeah, we're not going to do that. That's too slow. <laughs> for, it's sure, like once in the campaign. Game, yeah. I might still up it. Just fucking help. Who knows? We'll leave it there for now. It's fine. Um, we so yeah, you a, we'll get you a wool growth tonic. Right. Uh, <laughs> you could buy it premium at uh, Lunders Liquid Wonders. If you know, mm, yeah, <laughs> it'll come in a pretty bottle. It, it looks like a bottles. woman's head with, you know, beautiful glowing locks. Oh, it smells! It smells like perfume. Uh, that'll be five hundred gold pieces. <laughs> anyway. uh, All right, but um, yeah, just coconut oil in. Is this cinnamon? <laughs> it's just like yes, that's all it is. Oh, okay, I can make that. Yeah. So we go back. Uh, so yeah, so you guys get a, a good night's sleep. You're gonna go some do some reconnaissance. Um, I don't think oh, anyone else God. is wounded, right? Mm-hmm. Any ability score damage, nothing. Everybody's good. Well, let me double check. Oh, oh is my uh, is my uh, con gone? Nope. Okay. Still there. Just just needed to check. Um, You're still cursed. What? But you don't have any weird dreams because you sleep outside. Yeah. Um, which, obviously, you guys realize that uh, Lamia does not sleep in the barn. <laughs> she goes and sleeps in the rain. Mm-hmm. Um, she all right. <laughs> I just shrug. I don't, I mean, that just don't make sense. But yeah, so you guys get up real early. I mean, say, like, 4.35 o'clock. Ugh. Um, yeah, just, you know, just before, a little bit earlier. Before the gods are awake. <laughs> yeah. Perfect time for mischief. Yes. The, the exact time to cause all of the troubles. And we're going to give it another shot. So. Uh, I I will say that uh, Eli, myself, whatever, however I'm phrasing these words, is very used to waking up super duper early. So this is very normal. So I am way too chipper for everyone else who is like, I need coffee. <laughs> In fact, at this point, all three of you are pretty used to being up hella early. Yeah. Sam, you you know, he's a, far kid, a farmer. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy has been getting up hella early to train Hattie. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so we're all really early risers. Like, just awake. <laughs> uh, the opposite of who I am now. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not a morning person. If you wake me up at 5 a.m. and are like, look, either you get up now or I cut off your arm, but like, take it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't need it that bad. Take the if you wake me up at 5 a.m., I'll be like, why are you coming into my room? I've been awake this entire time. I need to go to sleep. Like or 10. that. Oh, uh, or yeah. that. <laughs> oh, God, I can hear the bird. I have to go to work in two hours. Uh, before we get like super close to uh, the area where we have found them, Mm-hmm. Can I try sending uh, the Silver Hawk out on the seek trick to see if they're up and about? Uh, obviously, alive and animate. How will Does it that clarify? That to you? Uh, well, good thing the- it's early in the morning because I can prep speak with animals. <laughs> so, so that's, that's had, the spell you take. Yeah, I had that chosen yesterday. So, I mean, yesterday, uh, the previous it's day, today. for that reason. Uh, so I guess I would have prepped it again for today. Excellent. Okay. Uh, <coughs> yes, you, you can absolutely send the send the Silverhawk out. 
and it will make a perception check. You can come that distance pretty quickly. Uh, let's see, what's its speed again? Flight speed is... Uh, 80. 80. Yeah, that's fast as fuck, boy. It says it has a fly speed. It means it can actually take the run action while flying, which means it would move at times four. Uh, when it's just like like going, right? To kind of cross the distance and before it slows down to really look. So yeah, it's not going to take much time at all. We're not going to sit here and calculate a bunch of distance. It's fine. Keeping a loose loose calculation in my head. Uh, so um, you send it out and give go ahead and give me its perception check. Okay, let's see if this works. Hey. Uh, okay, yeah. So I did roll correctly. Just making sure. Should have been look. Oh, that's why. I, that's why I did. No snake. I will not calculate at all. I'm not Scott. Perception is a. <laughs> you know he would. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna just take numbers and be like, hey, that, that works. I'm making sure I didn't miss any bonuses or something question it has a wisdom of 14 which was plus two but under skills it has perception plus six is that just its total bonus do you think uh yeah perception is gonna calculate all of that it's basically gonna be because yeah so wisdom so that's plus two from wisdom plus three from a class skill plus one rank okay mm -hmm. just make it sure because... and i think it only gets yeah because technically it only has it's only a first level for you for right now yeah, yeah. Until you level up because you're not a druid. So, uh, one second. Checking my DCs real quick. Okay, yeah, I can check DC rather than that. It is shitty conditions because it usually is. Keeps getting distracted by old snails, it sees. Eh, I wouldn't say it's distracted. It's it's it is trained technically. So okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> oh, uh, if you guys, while I'm while we go through this, when we get seconds, uh, if you want to answer some chat questions, there, snakes asking classes because oh. I don't have yeah. them up. I need to get some kind of thing or put up your character information or something. I don't know. I figured it out. Anyway. Um, uh, Lamia is a fighter. Type it in chat fighter. so you don't interrupt me. Is why I oh, said type I, it in see, chat. You didn't say type. You said answer a question. Well, type it in chat. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah, it flies off and returns to you. Takes about... Uh, yeah, no, it's not long. It takes maybe twenty minutes round trip because you know it probably did a few, a few circuits. Found some food, came back. It's a nice shrew you have there. Uh, but <laughs> did you do the thing I asked you to? Which the spells over. I actually need to. Uh, this is the first spell I've cast. So. So, yeah, you don't need to. So you don't need to cast speak with animals to to get it to do the trick you want it to do. But in order no. to like, but it can't tell you. Oh, I saw a bunch of people moving around or whatever, right? Like it doesn't. It can alert you to stuff yeah. <laughs> by shrieking, but like it can't <clears throat> talk to you without your cat. So you cast a spell when it gets back to you. Okay. So I just. Click on the spell, I guess, right? Yeah, just boop it so that it's in the chat so people see it. Um, also, you can uncheck the spell failure thing on the config page. It's not important right now, though. Your spells are divine. They're not subject to arcane spell failure. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. This animal is friendly towards you, of course. Spell rolls? Uh, rolls? Uncheck, right? Just, just uh, nah, just ignore it for now. Okay. Um, I'll do it later. Sorry. This is so, the first time I had to cast stuff. <laughs> so you cast the spell on yourself. Um, and what do you ask it specifically? Um, so, uh, 
what'd you see? Did you get some numbers? Uh, I know this is weird because you can actually understand and understand, you know, instead of just kind of getting the gist of stuff. <laughs> yeah, many, many of them. Some shiny, some not. Some moving, some not. Half, half moving. One big, one is big, very big. Do you know what the big one was doing? Sleep, sleeping, standing. <laughs> okay. Any, I don't know what else to ask it. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess since we're, you know, doing this right now, did, did you actually have a <laughs> name or is that a thing that, you know, animals do? Do they come up with their own names? Tilts the bird head, looks at the one eye. No. No names. Okay. None for me. Alright, so... Uh, well, I got you here. What's up with that tiger? <laughs> <laughs> he was hungry and arrogant and rude. Mm. All right, that's enough for me. Uh, <laughs> big. Tiger was big. Yes, he was. Uh, Hops down and starts to eat the shrew now. As yeah, yeah. soon as it's like clear, you're done talking to him. He's like, I'm going to eat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's doing a thing where he's like, <laughs> the whole thing in his mouth. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's unflattering. Not, he's, very big, he's a very big hawk. <laughs> Oh, uh, like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> ah, that's weirder. <laughs> uh, so what do you say, Sam? Oh, uh, they're all there. Half of them are uh, trying to dis decipher what he was talking about. Uh, half of them are awake. Uh, hmm. Another half are still sleeping uh some are armored some are not uh, the big ones there said he was asleep standing uh, i'm not sure what that meant uh do i rock sleep standing i don't know uh not normal <laughs> okay uh he found a shrew uh, he ate it and uh you know that's about it besides me asking some questions about the tiger but okay that was you know, important information at the moment. While your speak with animals can, is going, you can try to like give it slightly more complex orders for the next time you send it out. Oh, okay. It's still uh, a bird, so there's a chance it's not going to necessarily be able to like, do that understand. correctly. But yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, or remember it for that long, you know. So yeah. Okay, so at least we're a little bit more informed, and it seems that at least half of them are still asleep. For now, at least. Do you want to try and sneak up on there and get a clearer look, or...? No harm in trying it again. Uh, Mr. Hawk friend, uh, we're gonna sneak up on him again. If I send you back to, uh, our friend here, uh, Lamia, uh, that means that bad things are happening, or if we get discovered, you need to fly back and get her attention, okay? What is okay? What? what? <clears throat> Eat your shrew. <laughs> Shrew's gone. Uh, Shrew's gone. <laughs> yeah. Just staring at you. Uh, it's okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Good. Also okay. Bad. Not okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Hops back on your shoulder. We are okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's on first? Uh, it could de-evolve really quickly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, you guys are going to sneak in? You're going to try stealth again, hey? Uh, yeah. I mean, do all sneaky beat you like. Okay. Alright, are you going to 
successfully aid this time? Well, guess we'll we're see. gonna find out. That's Eli's roll first. Yeah, I was just making sure you're ready for me. Yep. Didn't want to roll without you being ready. Boop. Hey. Total 20. That's plus three. I almost just rolled the two, and that still would have been enough. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it would have. To at least give the plus two. Mm. All right. So, Sam, you're going to roll getting a plus three from Eli this time. And still the plus two from Forrest. Yep. Yeah, sorry, I'm typing the chat to answer bird questions. Uh, Burb. Burb. Uh, plus two this time? Nice. Plus three from him. Plus two from your plus forest. Three? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So five total. <sighs> total of 20. I needed all that bonus. <laughs> you did. <laughs> So you are able to actually sneak up and get quite a bit closer this time between the two of you. Um, you can see that, yeah, it looks like about half the camp is awake um, and the other half are asleep. Um, you can see that there are some tents there. Uh, pretty, pretty well-made tents. You don't think this camp moves too often. Um, just based by like on like the like, level of work that's kind of been put into it, there's some like tables and chairs and things out as well. Um, and you can see that uh, you don't see the two sheep that apparently they bought, so they probably ate them or have already butchered them or whatever. Uh, they don't really seem to have much in the way of like pack animals either. Um, but one of the interesting things you notice is uh, you do see all those people who were like that you, that you tracked that were barefoot. barefoot uh, seem to be kind of like uh, younger men and women kind of dressed sort of in like sort of assorted different attire some looks like it was nice clothing and it's been kind of like rained on and muddy and kind of battered and ripped up and such uh, some looks like you know just basic tunics and other things like that that people wear normally that have been kind of worn down and such um, you see a couple of the people who are awake seem to be running like like uh, spear fighting drills with them, mm. or training them. Um, and the Avarak, who you do spot, um, kind of at the far, like, kind of edge of their camp, um, is standing kind of next to a tent with a, what is clearly a great axe, kind of pushed into the into the mud. He's sort of leaning on a little bit. You can see his head's down. His face is kind of covered with just shaggy, matted, dark hair. Um... But uh, one thing you, you kind of notice is that if he is asleep, he's sleeping with his eyes open. You can see them like the red glowing eyes behind the hair, even from like your position pretty far away. That's, that's cool visual, but I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, um, so. So about how, um, about how long are you going to kind of stay there and, and try to gather information as long as you can until you think you may, you've been spotted or do you call it at like a, an hour or two and cut your losses and move or I think just rather than push your luck you move out <laughs> I think um, I think after an hour if we still haven't heard anything uh, might push our luck a little bit I think that's probably going to be my plan it's very much to like we wait an hour, right? Because we think that's probably a good amount of time. If we don't hear anything, then maybe we kind of like uh, wait just basically to observe that Avarok, see if he does move or do anything different. And if like if we haven't gathered any information, if he hasn't moved, then we might head out. Okay. But if he moves, we probably follow around with him. You know, we try and move with yeah. him. Yeah. Uh, is there a? Is it too dangerous to have a conversation where we're at? Or to I, I imagine you guys are pretty like far enough away to feel safe to like whisper to each other, right? Okay. Yeah. Even if we aren't, I was gonna say I can at least like we can split up a little bit, and I can message whisper to you, so we can still be pretty quiet, even at like a bit of a distance, because I have message. So at, at, yeah. we're not gonna get close enough. We shouldn't get close enough that they can hear us whisper. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm not planning on getting that close. I think I. 
we might have an idea how we could infiltrate, but it might take some more explaining to do. And also, uh, I'm not very good at lying, uh, so... Uh, Send the man yeah. in the fancy clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just hands up like, Oi, mates, I want to be a bandit! Anyway. <laughs> well, we could say we were part of the... Uh, Oh god, what was the name of the place uh, that we just did? The people that we broke up, not the Bardock, storm. Spandex. Bardock, yeah, Bardock's mm-hmm. group. You could say we we're part of Bardock's group. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, they got pretty much decimated, so uh, we, that we know of. So, uh, <laughs> we don't know, but because we, we just got, got out of there. Uh, but, uh, you know, we could, like, pretend to be part of his crew, trying to find new, uh, greener pastures. But indeed. It's not the worst idea I've ever heard. And that would at least get us in the camp. Uh, I don't know about getting back out, though. Uh, I now am thinking of a meme that I posted in the bakery on something completely unrelated, which is the, you know, uh, hello, fellow children. Yes. <laughs> Staring a skateboard. Hello, fellow so, bandits. Yeah. Exactly. Is that your plan? You're going to try to bluff your way in? Or are you. Well, I'm just still sitting, giving him that idea. Life. Right. Like, in now, case we get like. Yeah, I say let's sit on it and, and observe. I think that's a good idea if we get caught, definitely. Yeah. To so just default to that as like, ah, hey, this is why we're here. It is good to have a plan for if your main objective fails. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so you guys wait, chill there for about an hour. Um, see some of them kind of still doing this, like practicing with spears and such. Uh, see a couple of these like uh, younger people who, like some of them, like clearly have never held a weapon before, and then like some of the others seem like they've maybe at least played around with some, and have like have an idea of like how to like do like a, like a basic thrust and a basic block but uh some of them like don't have any of that coordination and they are getting beat the shit out of and i don't mean like put in the ground and like stomped or anything but like every time they screw up there's like a whack to the back of the like like to the back of the leg or like you know, like a smack with like the the flat side of a spear on the on like the back side or whatever um so it's just like push into the mud and yelled at like mm-hmm. it's not this isn't like formal training under like an actual master. This is training under bandits. Um, is, is there, I guess there's no particular style that they're using or anything as somebody who also uses a spear, you know, uh, not that I'm exactly, not anything you know, that looks from the school of spear using, yeah, but yeah. Not, not anything it just looks like the man with the big uh, ass sword. It's not like yeah. traditional I use both. F- spear fighting or anything like that. Okay. <laughs> or things yeah. I've seen, I guess is more like, yeah. nothing that looks unique enough to you right they're, okay. they're not the okay. most polished right but yeah basics are basics just curious just curious um but so you're kind of watching them do this for a while and you can uh both of you i will allow a perception check to see if you can make out any uh, sort of what's being said wow Ellie. <laughs> really we're not here to explore these bandits kinks okay <laughs> I'm assuming at least we're we better not forest. be. You are still in force. <laughs> I mean, other stuff say, to do. Panda did ask about their shoe size. Nice size. That's not about them. Seeks. Okay, Sam. Uh, so, so Eli, uh, you're you're a little bit distracted because you realize that, that snail that you found earlier has gotten onto you. It's like on your sleeve. You're like, oh, holy crap! This little guy followed me. You're a little distracted. And you keep trying to listen, and sometimes they'll be talking, but it's nothing interesting, so you go back. Um, Sam, you don't have a snail on you, so oh. you're able to listen really well. <laughs> and uh, you do hear some stuff they're talking about. You hear someone talking about, like, you know, especially the people who are training, like, oh, yeah, if the night crew, if you do this with the night crew, then they're going to they're gonna kick your ass even worse, and stuff like that. And you eventually kind of pick up that, uh, these bandits do kind of act in shifts. Uh, some of them 
are active and like awake during the day and like keeping an eye out and that kind of thing and then maybe the other four get up at night and there's like a period where they're all up at the same time which is probably when they go and like do raids on stuff or whatever and they come back some of them sleep some of them stay up uh, but they basically have a completely different uh sleep schedule between like the two like kind of groups of it and you don't really know where the avarok falls into this but since you guys chose to wait an hour um you eventually do see uh him him kind of lift his head and kind of looks around a little bit peeks into one of the tents and then kind of moves it open for a moment and says something into it and then he starts to walk off into the woods oh he's gone so you guys should guess... try to like stealthily follow him or you yes gonna... i will try and stealthily follow him yeah okay so i need two separate stealth checks from you both this time <laughs> sorry i'm laughing at the chat <laughs> anyways uh here's my stealth roll okay okay 17 we're going against his perception Those aren't bad, but Not perception's bad. pretty Oof. high a lot. <laughs> he rolled oh, really oh. good, as you can see. Oh, no. Oh. Doesn't help. He rolled great. Does not help. It, uh, uh, God fucking Does he have it. a bonus? No, he has a penalty. Yeah. <laughs> it's daylight. <sighs> oh, do they have a disadvantage in light? Yeah, not disadvantage, but they, yeah, they have. Oh, right, that's what I mean. They do have a penalty in in, in bright light. Son of a bitch! I meant disadvantage in the sense of a negative, not a disadvantage in the roll twice. Oh, it was almost a natural 20 anyway! Fucking hell! It wouldn't that have been mattered. Dope. It wouldn't have mattered. I, I forgot about his penalty. It's fine. And also plus four, but... Or no, he doesn't get that, though. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah That's the to, penalty. I had to take it away. And... Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck! Anyway, I can. Did I miss any other bonuses? Do I get a third roll? Do I get a third? Did I miss roll? any? Did I miss something? Uh, did I? Ah, fuck it. We need to move on. We need to move on. You sneak up. Um, so eventually, uh, yes, Snake. The DM luck does hit me quite often. Um, but eventually, like uh, he does stop uh, after he kind of like walks off a little ways. He doesn't go super far away from the camp. So you don't want to be talking, like, if you decide to talk to him. You don't want to talk at full volume, or people will probably hear you. Uh, because he has to pee. So he starts peeing. I know it. Uh. You just hear this, just, this, like, stream <laughs> going, he's facing away from you. Do we go in a hour? I'll wait till he's done. <laughs> <laughs> so, you wait. About a minute passes, and then finally... The, the, oh, the how much water starts. does this man drink? You hear, like, <laughs> you know... You hear the telltale signs of one finishing up. Um, kind of readjusts his trousers and everything. Turns to start heading back. That, that is when I would approach in the most non-threatening way I possibly could. Okay. Uh... <laughs> So, without just showing up with like, my hands raised above my head already, because as, oh, so as previously illustrated, okay. <laughs> as previously illustrated, surrendering immediately doesn't always work. People still try and kill you for some reason. So you just kind of like walk up, like walk out in front of him, or just out, uh, so I, I can picture this. Yeah, I think it would just be kind of that, like, like jazz hands. He just literally, like, just pop out, and be like, "Hey, mate!" Just like out of the woods, just like <laughs> at normal, like conversational like howdy i'm not i'm staying in the bush are you in arms <laughs> reach are you in oh, axe God, no, reach I'm not okay axe reach. why okay. would i ever stand with an axe reach i have to check why you would i some ever wild do that? shit sometimes so of anybody i don't even stand within weapon range of lamia most of the time <laughs> you walk out and so immediately he doesn't even seem startled um, he just raises the great axe onto one shoulder and is just stalking towards you a little bit quicker than he was walking before. Um, 
he can get out a few words before he reaches you. I'm assuming you're backing up, but you only have oh, so much space before you're going to be like, Definitely the backing up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm like, cheers, mate. How you doing? Uh, I have a job opportunity <sighs> for you. And that very scary axe is exactly why I have it. <laughs> job. Uh, right. The kind. Job. The, the kind that pays you money, that you don't have to live out here with these blokes and do the, this thing. You can make good I coin and money. not have to. Oh. Need money. Food. Well, money, money to honor. Buy food and shelter. Does money buy honor? Uh, no, but I can give you honor, or at least I can give you an opportunity to earn honor. It's confused. <laughs> yeah, I'm confused. You know, uh, <clears throat> does money buy food? Something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my yeah. My dad always said the easiest way to confuse somebody is to first be confused. Uh, so. <laughs> 13. Unfortunately, not quite enough. He he shakes his head. You can see the matted hair like swinging. The eyes actually grow a little bit brighter. Puts his other hand on the axe. It says, Surrender! I will put my hands up in the universal sign of surrender and he hope that surprised. he understands the universal sign of surrender. <laughs> he now looks surprised. Okay. Easy. You're a prisoner now. Look. Hmm. That um, is one buy honor. No, you oh. don't. You don't buy honor. You earn honor. Are you walking? Uh, yeah, slow. Slow. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> he starts walking after he says, "How do you know how to earn honor, small, pompous man?" Pompous. Anyways, <laughs> where is Sam during that. all this? Just, I will say hiding in a bush. Like that, <laughs> I will be like pompous. Anyways, um, <clears throat> uh, from doing my my job and my uh, like uh, and acting with honor in my business dealings with others. Ah, <sighs> got it on look like businessman to you he turns you, you know around, I... leans down looks you like right in the yeah. eyes you look significantly more like a businessman than some people who have hired me i'll give you another diplomacy roll here <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go through a field but you only can fail so many times before this See. turns into a fight hey, oh it's almost it's a terrible one, though. Jesus oh my god right. okay it's very close Fucking hell! Hold on. Let me look at the disease again. Um, he's unfriendly, not quite hostile yet. Um, hard to tell, I know. Um, fucking balls, bro. I Plus his charisma modifier, which I will uh, I'll spoil for you is not good. <laughs> shocked! I'm shocked. I say. That's uh, absolutely a gas for uh, people. <laughs> you say that, and he goes, <laughs> uh, Business people must be pretty ugly then. Well, you're just that handsome. <laughs> Anyways. Just kind of looks past you toward the camp. Okay. You no threat to Varbrock. So, Varbrock maybe listen. I wanted to break anyway. I really hate to do this. I hate to do this to myself. <laughs> he has to make a perception check for my shadow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Varbrunk? I've been talking too long. Varbrunk or Varbrunk? I'll, sp I'll spell it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, oops. Yeah, yeah, there, that's, that's correct. Okay. Barbron. I was not far off. He's Damn perception. It, I, was. I used a K. Was it a was or was it a wisdom check? Uh, sure? It might just be a straight wisdom. Let me boop it. How about that? Uh, Still in the bush. Safe in the bush. Can't shoot I you. I could Arrow. find where it went. They are slightly different checks. <laughs> yes, they are indeed. There it is. It is wisdom. Oh boy. DC. Uh, 15. 
Oh god. He, he hates, hates beats! Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> no, that's oh. bad. We don't want him to make the DC. Yeah. Oh, I could have sworn you at a DC 15 wisdom check. Notice it plainly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, that's funny. Yep. Is it normal lighting conditions is not hard to observe. Yeah, that's that is pretty funny. I think so. Um, so he yeah notices your. What does he notice your shadow doing, Eli? <laughs> Uh, at this point, it's not doing anything like creepy or weird because it's just during the day, but it is definitely like the light source is to my right. The shadow is also to my right. And it is, again, like really elongated and weird looking. So it definitely looks not like it belongs to me. He pauses after that last sentence and see him turn his head and staring down at your shadow. Slams the axe into it. It is, for a dude that big, the strike is lightning fast. There's just, he suddenly moves, and there's just an explosion of dirt from that spot. Looks at it again. Aldwin waves. They're like, stop it. I burnt <laughs> antagonizing. <laughs> Starts just wailing on that spot with the axe. It's making quite a bit of noise. Sam, you will notice that people in the camp, some of the ones that are doing the training are like, fuck is going on like <laughs> looking back towards the woods they can't see them yet yeah but they are definitely noticing mm-hmm. it's not mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah I, I i again i'm looking at the ground you're upsetting him why are you doing this Grabs you i'm back. sorry for my <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> sorry about my heart <laughs> and says make it stop I, i'm just left the axe in the shadow <laughs> yeah <laughs> go of the throat <clears throat> now make it stop i apologize for my associate being rude at the ground <laughs> and it's just like who the fuck is that start moving towards the, the area <laughs> it's it slides over to look like a normal shadow now thank you too late um <clears throat> another diplomacy minus four <laughs> need another good roll, Dave. Well, let's see if I get one. Ooh, hey, that's pretty Fucking great. Hell, jeez, yeah. <sighs> Hold on a second. He grabs you, throws you into the woods. <laughs> Just <laughs> whoosh! <laughs> roll a reflex uh, save real quick. Make yeah. sure you don't hurt yourself when you land. Let's see. We'll, we'll probably will. This is where my bad roll comes in. No, that's, that's decent, at least. Uh, hang on one sec. Okay, you don't hurt. Is he yourself. within? Is that a saving throw or is that a, is a saving? Throw? It is, but I ain't worried about a fifteen, man. Don't be wasting an ability on a fifteen because uh, th- th- you're not going to get too much better than that. Yeah, yeah, you you narrowly avoid like miss a tree as you go sailing a good fifteen feet <laughs> into the woods, yeah. but you were able to roll when you hit the ground and kind of skid under some like underbrush, um, and you hear uh, some people approach Sam. You notice couple of the guard or the bandits who were training those people walk up and they're just like the hell is happening and he's just like the brog is peeing it's <laughs> privacy uh i would have pulled out you don't look like you're peeing arrow I had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, just like i think you're done <laughs> have to pee again big bladder he'll tell you when he's he done some <laughs> voice impressions or something out here and the second guy just like nudges the dude, and just like just let him fucking pee, man. <laughs> just walks <laughs> off. They both uh-huh. leave. One of them still seems very suspicious, though. Heads back into the camp. They start yelling at the recruits again. Varbron will, uh, Varbron will uh, walk into the woods over to where you landed. I'm doing the thing where I'm just like straightening my my suit, like my sleeves and everything. Just like oh. yeah, okay. Well, well, did he land man. near? Oh yeah, I think he probably would have landed near you, actually. <laughs> oh, or no, I was going to ask you if he landed near the key. Oh no, no, he didn't throw him. Okay. Pee. Okay. I did. I will press the digitation oh. to pee off myself. But anyway, I was just curious. I want to uh, say, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. In no. Your face. <laughs> um, uh, he comes over. He says, "Magic man, I do you. magic." Yes. 
Yeah. What kind of magic? The shadowy kind, usually? Mm, no, no. Book magic or blood magic. Oh, blood magic. Mm. I like book magic, but I never I just naturally had it, so I didn't need it. Mm. Turns and looks away from me for a moment. Someone I respect likes your kind. So I won't break you in half. Well, I greatly appreciate that. Um, and what job like do you have for me? Well, <clears throat> it's a job opportunity in the sense that it can be many jobs, not just one job. Is... Explain. Uh, I run a company uh, called... Aldwin Retrieval and Logistics. We find stuff for people, basically. Um, and we are in desperate need of someone of your skill set. You know my skill set. Uh, being big and scary is is definitely part of the skill set. But also, I just saw you use that axe with blinding speed. And yeah, that's a skill set. If you've got other skills, I'd love to hear about them too. No. Um... Brong does have other skills, yes, but none for sale. Lebron needs to go west, northwest. All right. Well, we are based out of Saikon, and we could easily facilitate you moving farther northwest. Uh, your people are troublesome. Treat our wrong like beast of burden. Like child. Hmm. Well, we've got horses for beasts of burden, so we don't need you to carry anything except what you've got on your person now. And uh, I don't know if you... Well, actually, I know for a fact you saw my friend, Mr. Aldwin. I gesture, and he kind of like shows up, and I'm like... I give him the look. Just like, don't do anything. Anyways, um, <laughs> I often get treated with uh, a lot of suspicion and disrespect so i don't necessarily know what it's like to be uh assumed that you're just there to carry things but i know what it's like to have people treat you mean for simply just being a thing also if you haven't noticed some foreign and people just don't like that <laughs> i like whisper it by the way <laughs> like like it's a conspiracy that i'm foreign <sighs> Not difficult to notice. Vorbrom wants to move quickly. It is nearly time for him to be somewhere important. <sighs> Magic man. He leans down again. What languages do you speak? Uh... That's a great question. I was about to give my Ren answer and say all of them. That's not true. Anyway, it's not. not speak. It I is speak not. Tertian, Ulu, and Ralian. Uh, and Sam, you speak what, just Thul and Ulus? And uh, Druidic Broken. Yeah, the Broken Druidic, yeah. I thought you knew... No, wait. Yeah, I thought you knew Thul and Ulus. I don't believe so, no. Nope. Okay. Excuse me. So he speaks again in a language you don't understand. He tells a question. I have no fucking clue what he said. Um, unfortunately, I don't speak that one. Is that uh, just going out on a wild limb? Is that native tongue of yours? Because it's not something I'm familiar with. Sorry. Old language. If you don't know, you don't know. That is fine. Facilitate Varbrong's move west, and he will help you briefly. I'll facilitate away. Uh, just one quick question. Um, you said you don't need coin because you want just food and shelter, but how much coin do you want for food and shelter? Or, or how much do you normally get from these guys? Whatever it is, I'll double it. He looks... Roll me sense motive. Sam, you're there too. You can also roll. 
Okay. <laughs> I mean, mine's terrible. There we go. It's mine's straight. So that does sense. Mine of horse. It doesn't work too well. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. It's still worth asking. Hey, it's better than mine. All you can I'm tell. Still is the you... only one that's trained. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Um. As far as you, all you can tell is that he looks just a little uncomfortable at that question. Says, "Just need enough to get to northwest." You help with this or not? Near right, the you name a number, I've got it. For sure. Uh, asking Avarak about numbers? <laughs> I knew it as soon okay, as you said it. Okay, let me rephrase it. You tell me how much, or what you need, not even how much. You tell me what you need, I'll provide it. Stares at you. I want to believe you. Deal is... You provide supplies or you become supplies. <laughs> that seems more than fair. Smiles. Good. We will see if your honor holds up. Pompous man. Pompous? <laughs> Again, I say it just like that in character. <laughs> Looks over back towards the camp. Mm. Unfinished business here. When do you need me? Right, at your earliest convenience, I'm here to facilitate your move northwest, so I can help you out. Mm. You cannot be both pompous and soft. <laughs> Make, demand, answer question, give order. You'll find I'm not that kind of boss usually. Uh, I try and just kind of let my people who work with me do their own thing. How about this? Uh, what unfinished business you have, I could help you with it. And that way we can get you free faster. They likely will kill you if they find you. Probably. Supposed to be here a couple of more nights. Help with raids. Knocking over wagons. Mm hmm literally or <laughs> <laughs> both um, anyways so he just I... nods <laughs> yeah. I understand that um, and I understand you're a man of honor but one of the things I'm here to these are you. not men of honor I no but you are nothing. right and I'm trying to prevent more raids from happening so I would rather you come with me right away than you know robbing anybody else because you're a man of honor, and I like to speak to you on that level. Last diplomacy check. All right. His disposition is no longer unfriendly. Yeah. So DC is lower. Good, because my roll was bad. <laughs> <laughs> he just. <sighs> Fine. Psychon. Barbaron can find this. Uh, Sam, perception. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still in this forest. 26. Okay. Uh, a couple of those people are coming back. <laughs> See them marching their way over. It's three of them this time. I do. Uh, do I notice them? I only okay. gave Sam the chat because you're literally in the Figured. middle of the conversation, yeah. right? Yep. I so. uh, don't see anything going on. Uh, <sighs> uh, <clears throat> I'm going to look at my hawk and uh, point. Uh, oof, no, maybe I don't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> he's pretty damn quick with that axe. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I wanted to do. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can also talk to Varbron. If you need to warn him you're going to do something. I don't know what you're planning, but... Yeah. D does he know I'm here? <laughs> I thought you said something earlier. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah I'm going to point out uh, that... 
he, he's not him. threatened by either of you is the main thing yeah <laughs> i was gonna yeah. say so. did you see his reaction to me showing up i don't think he cares yeah uh i was gonna like they're moving they're moving back this way we need to make a decision real quick shrugs You come out here to stop bandits. Hmm. Reward. Yep. Right. We do have it. Well, there Half is a reward. Half is Varbrongs. Half is Varbrongs. I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fine. Varbrong will do half the work. That was when I pop my knuckles and like stretch my neck and roll up my sleeves. All right, mm -hmm. half the work it is. I send the hawk to go get Lavia. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, yeah, fly. <laughs> Few, uh, probably a couple of rounds later, uh, the hawk shows up. Lamia starts squawking, hassling you. Flies back that direction. Yep, well, we'll take off. Okay. So, we don't need to run a full combat for this. I'll just be totally honest with you. <laughs> oh, no. I'm ready to magic uh, missile some stuff, though, and blind is definitely some people. Okay, I got a run. whole bow. I'm we'll we'll, run, we'll run a quick round just so you guys can show off a little if you want to. Um, oh, man. Lamia, right as you're getting there, like you're like running uh -huh. up. You can see these two. You guys like can, can see the others now. Like the, Those couple of bandits have spotted you. And it's like, who the fuck are those? And uh, Varbrong just roars, runs at one of them very rapidly, crosses about 60 feet um, to get to one of them. The other guy is like shouting like, like hey, we got enemy. Oh, my God. <laughs> As he gets over there. Um, Mom, you get there just in time to kind of see him burst across the ground towards one of them. Um, just say he just he just lays this axe through, like, one of the collarbones, like, down into the chest cavity, kind of just tosses that person off to the side. Um, as the other bandits immediately, like, rush up, and all the recruits just fucking scatter. <laughs> None of them want any part of this. Good. Smart recruits. Yes. Uh... They can't touch us as long as we have this big tank. Oh, no, oh, yeah. God, the tank's turned on us. over to Sam and be like, thank Rahala, he's on our side. <laughs> Rahatha, you mean? Rahatha, yes, sorry. <laughs> I mean, we could thank Rahala if I'll we want. I'll thank her too, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, I'd just be like, whoo! I was ready to jump in there at any time, I swear. Uh, uh, how do you guys want to help? <laughs> I want to uh, magic missile somebody, or if anybody has a ranged weapon, I actually want to blindness anybody with a ranged weapon, so they can't okay. see the shootout. So yeah, some guy, you see him throw open his tent, grabs a crossbow, and levels it, and his eyes just go completely black. The fuck! Ah! Ah! He just starts screaming, tearing at his eyes, knocks his tent over. The guy was like trying to put his armor on. He's like, dude, what the fuck, man? Like gets his pants up. <laughs> screams yeah. wrong, like rushes over that to that dude who doesn't have his pants all the way on yet. Sam, how do you want to help? Can I shoot at uh, anybody that is trying to like flank uh Far wrong? Far wrong, thank you. Sure. Just learned it. Someone runs up behind him with a spear. You just go ahead and make your attack roll. Yeah. Right. See how well you hit him. Yeah. Uh, I'll, do, I'll do the whole thing. Uh, submit. Ten. I mean, yeah, enough to hit a flat-footed bandit <laughs> okay. who doesn't have his armor on yet. Yeah. Uh, so he just, uh, just collapses. Uh, holding his side. Um... You can see him, you can hear him weakly surrendering. Um, Lamia, yeah. you're already like mid run. Uh, there's a couple of bandits still pretty close to your friends. What do you do to help? Oh, okay. Well, is there like a group of them that I can just great cleave through? Sure. <laughs> you have great cleave? I have great cleave. <laughs> yeah, the two it's that are close cleave. to your friends. I mean, not there's not like three groups. Oh, no, 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 it is three. No, one's dead. Varbron killed one, threw him, and just ran past <laughs> the other two. So you've got two of them, they're just like, oh, shit, uh, let's fight. And then you showed up, 
rush up and make your roll. Okay, your, your let me rolls. go ahead and boop break cleave in there first. Yeah. Good Ooh. habits. So that uh, is... Correct, Snake. Yes, they definitely thought thought Brabron was on their side. Uh, he is not. <laughs> uh, the first attack would have the furious focus, so I don't need to do the modifier. Yeah. I, I did fix your uh, power attack things, by the way. <gasps> Thank you! <laughs> you made them way more complicated than those usually are. Well, it's because I'm bad it's at fine. math. It's Yeah, those conditions are way, way more simplified than actual the weapon coding. Okay. You can make your attack roll. Dude. We'll just take your first ones. That's fine. This is Queek Combat. Yeah, definitely hits a bandit. He's not flat-footed, but he doesn't have armor on. Um... <laughs> 22 damage. Yeah, you just... Whoosh! And before they even, like, realize they're dead, one of them, like, looks over, sees his, like, friend's torso sliding off of his hips. Just, oh, no! Blood just all over the ground. Um, the guy weakly surrendering is, like, coughing, trying to surrender louder, getting his hands in the air. He's still got a freaking arrow in his stomach. Um, you don't see any of the recruits left. And the bandits who are still alive are surrendering as Rebrong just doesn't care. Um, and Ooh. kills probably two or three of them before he realizes that they're not fighting anymore. Oh, no. So there's like a couple who are just like all the way around just screaming bloody murder. And he's just... Ugh. Done. Right. Holy yep. shit. I'm, I'm gonna walk over <laughs> to the, the guy who's blind and like snap my fingers and unblind him. Be like, hey, mate, um That's bright! You should, <laughs> you should uh you should run. Wait, who who is that? Who's who the fuck are you? He's reaching for his weapon. I'm like, your best out of friend. Him. Yeah. So okay. you should run. <laughs> like now? Like right now. Crawling away, gets up to his feet, just tears off after where the recruits went. Hi. Don't uh, rob anybody any else anytime soon at all, uh, please. That was a leader. Uh, we needed him, didn't we? Um, I don't recall. No, I, I'm pretty sure it's just we got to make sure they're disband. I thought we needed proof, though, of some kind. They wanted like a head or something like that. There's but... plenty of them. There yeah. is. Plenty of them. <laughs> you also have True. the. the... You also have the Avarok with you who was with them. Yeah. But you probably don't want to bring him to the authorities. Wanna... They, might, they might have to try to arrest him. Yeah, yeah no. no. <laughs> have to try. To yeah, arrest. try is... Try <laughs> is the key like, word. Bro, um, why did you bring us a boss fight? It's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> he still has his weapon. <laughs> yeah, there, there's head. Okay. I mean, there's a torso of a person, so we can just be take that grizzly thing. Yeah. Okay. So you, uh, beheading. you have completed the job. Yay! <laughs> you actually, so you yeah. get 500 you get 500 gold pieces to Verbrung? You yeah. said half. Sure, you know, yeah. he probably can't count. But, That's you know. fine. Nope. Well, um, he wants half. Heck, he did more than half the work. I'll give him 550. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll take it. This uh, isn't half. This is not half. The <laughs> yeah, it's more than half. Uh, you did more than half the work. <laughs> I'll take it. So there you go. Uh, before we leave this area, is there any... Ah, God, I'm not a looting person. What am I doing? Okay, never mind. You can loot. They've got some spears. You can see some... There's, like, leather armor. Um, you actually, like, take time to, like, see what all is at the camp? Yeah, can I? Just in yep. case yeah. I find... In case um, it's like, hey, some bandits stole my wedding cards. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was gonna, gonna say, you know, are there that's, any I was gonna say. heirloom like things? You, you do find, find some bags to return to others. Some bags, a couple of like wooden chests of things that you're pretty sure were taken from other people. Um, some of them are like small boxes of jewelry. Um, some are like lockets that have like people's pictures in them. Other stuff like that. Some are like uh, it's very nice clothing that is like folded away in like a like a luggage container that was probably somebody's stuff. Um, you do find a quite a bit of that kind of stashed away in like one of the bigger tents that you could tell was just for salvage and loot. Cool. 
we should probably return this stuff to Saikon, I guess. Yeah. We can also stop at the village and see if anybody's missing anything. Yeah, may as well. Yeah. Uh, if that's okay with you, um, for, for Bronk. I think he'll probably want to wait outside the village just in case, if you don't mind. I'll, I'll keep him company. He, want he, me, uh, like, I was going to say, you want us to pick you up anything from inside the village? No, no. He's, he will not look at Lamia. Do you want any ale? Ale is good. Sandwich? Yeah. Good, good ale is good. Three sandwiches? <laughs> Anyways, like, three, three sandwiches. <laughs> Anyways, uh, three yeah. foot long. Red, vegetables. I mean, do you want some vegetables? So I got some. Yeah. Right, I can get some. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. I haven't had any in a while. Yeah, veggies are good. Um, so when I go to town to just kind of like pull a weird Santa Claus and try and redistribute people's <laughs> belongings. I will also purchase a cask of ale and some vegetables. Hey, small child, is this tiny treasure chest of jewelry <laughs> yours? It is now. <laughs> what a great sword. Sure. Like, uh, uh, hello, old barely. lady who can barely stand. This right, great axe sorry, built for a large chat, creature is yours. Chat. Uh, yeah. Answer is Barry. Oh, Ari too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'll hang out with Verbron. 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 Other rock names aren't easy to say. <laughs> no. Uh, Verbron outside. Uh, did I notice that he wasn't like paying notice to Lamia at all? He just won't look at her directly. Wow. So, are you shy, big buddy? Mm, no. Can't talk no. to women. Uh, usually it does not go well. I mean, you never know unless you try. N no, not that way. Uh, Avarak, uh, threatening. I mean, yeah, I can get that. People see, I look at women, children, elderly get defensive. Learn not to do that. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, bud. It is the way of your people. And then I'll just talk about the weather. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, what other, yeah, it's you know. raining again. Yeah, still raining. <laughs> As it always so, is, for some strange reason. So, how far uh, northwest? Yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> um, you actually ask him that; he will tell you. Uh, well, actually, really, all he says is far. Far. He says past the capital. And I believe we are on the map. And I'll show you here. Far indeed, on the map. Capital is Dardanelleto. Oh. Well, Dardanelleto. This far. That's pretty Real damn far. far. <laughs> There's not a lot past the capital other than Gomor Hangel, which no one's really allowed in unless they're a member of the Order of the White Thrush. Of course. Um, well, also... I'm guessing he wants to go here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Avrana. Just, just based on the name. I go into that island up there. Thinking about it. I mean... I don't know a lot about it, but if that's what you want to do, then yeah. That sounds like a plan. Better I mean, do I you plan on swimming that much. far? No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, no. Could. I mean, you could probably get a boat a little bit closer. I don't know which one of these are port towns at the top. Is Darna de Neto the only port town on the top? Uh, probably. Sorry. Okay. I, I was curious. Uh, yeah, I think that is the only north port in Setsegia. Yes, it is. Uh, Sycon doesn't go that way. Because these are the routes they take, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Ah, excuse me. So, um, but yeah, you chit chat with them. Uh, yeah. Eli, mm -hmm. since you're handing out presents, um, I will say this is also a diplomacy check because you're trying to figure out where they go, who they go to, that kind of thing. So, your affable will apply it is gathering information. I guess this time I will try and aid. Oh, well, I already rolled. Oh, okay. okay. Well, never mind we then. We can add it after the fact this time. That's okay. okay. We'll just see. 
Oh, oh, it was almost a 20. Oh, yeah. So close. So that's a 24. Um, <clears throat> so, 24. Yeah, you're actually able to find out a lot of that stuff is to people there that, um, like, the, the bandits would come through and they said that they would, you know, the guy told you that, you know, hey, they don't really mess with us too much. But, of course, he was kind of playing it down a little bit. They do take stuff from these people. Uh, not necessarily with violence, but just with intimidation. Mm. So you are able to return some belongings to a few people. Uh, you even are able to return a this, like, nice-looking wooden staff with, like, a bunch of, like, feathers and, like, bone fetishes and things on it um, to their uh, medicine woman, uh, who thanks you. Then will provide you with two potions. Oh, potions. A potion of cure light wounds. <laughs> Right. It's not a designer potion, of course, so it may not taste great. Too bad. But also a potion of bark skin. Oh. <laughs> you should have that potion, sir. Why? Nothing should get close enough to hit me. <laughs> okay. We're doing it wrong. Stuff's wailing on him. He's doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah exactly. But uh, yeah, you have both of those. I, I will just put them in my inventory. We can hand them yeah, out. Yeah, just one shoot one later. Yeah. Yep. Um, we can get rid of that. Oh, they're all gone. Um, yeah, you're able to get out some of the stuff there, and then make your way back to Saikon. Uh, deliver the I don't know bunch of heads that um, was given to you um, as proof that you completed the, the the quest. They pay you the thousand gold. Thank you. Uh, some of the soldiers there are like asking stories about stuff or whatever. Um, in fact, uh, Eli, go ahead and roll one more diplomacy here. All right. Diplomacy. This is pretty much to determine if... Okay, yeah. So with that, you're actually able to tell the story in a way where... Um, you're able to include Varbrang in it. Uh, with, and kind of get them thinking like, oh shit, dude, the Avarak is like, he, he turned on the bandits. Oh man, like, where did he go? And they're like, they kind of want to see him. So you can tell that they're not like, he's not a criminal in their eyes anymore. So that'll, so you, you can actually, he can like walk around the city and stuff, at least for now. Nice. They pay you. You, you effectively lose 550 of the reward to Varbrong, but hey, he didn't get hurt. There's a couple yeah. of days work. So yeah. 550 gold is more than worth not having to fight Navra. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I pay that all day. Uh, then he is going to, uh, Varbrung will stay with you for like a couple of days. He'll kind of, mm -hmm. well, not with you, but he'll stay in the area for a couple of days. Um, he crashed crash at my place. That's fine. Where was, where There's was not that? a lot of room in there. Where would he, he do it? Yeah. <laughs> like, um, He's there for just like a couple of days. Um, and let's see. Uh, by the way, for both of you, I'm going to pay you guys out 100 gold each. It was going to be more, but your money. Uh, no, worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it was, was going to be more, but uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's 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 a good point, Ellie. Uh, he probably avoids your place like the plague because there's both Rahala <laughs> and Hattie there. That's true. It's just like, I don't want anybody getting mad at me. <laughs> uh, but likely he would at least see them each once. Doesn't really look at either of them. Hattie's like, oh wow, look, he's an Everok! <laughs> Holy crap! That's he's gonna be one so tall! Like, Hattie, <laughs> hold on. He's a little uh, gun-shy around ladies, so... You know, how you're, you know how you know how you're like a thousand percent. How can you, you be shy back? when you're this? Everyone can see you. Nine hundred percent. You can be like slow, bow shy, further and further away. Which are kind of like look, look, giving you Eli this kind of pleading look, like make it stop. <laughs> like, uh, but she does dial it back <laughs> and kind of feels bad when she realizes she's making him uncomfortable and makes it worse by trying to be like here i i can show you things in like the the hold back there's like a lot of cool stuff if you want to look at things um i can tell you about the architecture of the building she's like trying to be friendly and he's just like please 
<laughs> when she says, I can tell you about the architecture of the building, I'm like, and I can point out where the roof licks to where not stand. <laughs> That's the more important thing. Um, but he, he does ha- he does stay around. For- um, and I, go ahead. Can I go over uh, his route with him that he's going to take? Is he going to basically follow the main road? Um, he, he, he does say that he's going to mostly go along the main road. He is very clearly kind of avoiding telling you about his ultimate destination. You can try to kind of coax it out of him by, if you rolled like diplomacy to try to just be friendly with him and see if he'll trust you to tell you. Uh, It's up to you. Will I lose friendliness if it's real bad? If it's really bad, yeah, he might clam up a little bit more. You're not gonna. Like, he's not gonna attack you, right? But because I'm not trained in it, so yeah, uh, I know. Uh, uh, yeah, I might as well try. Uh. There's no harm in trying. Uh, Fourteen. Not bad. This is. Uh, I. I need to go. All the way to the capital. I need a boat. Need to go to Avrahana. People there I respect. Mostly only. You buying a boat or just rented a boat? Sorry. Uh, he looks a little unsure. Just passage? Yeah, just, just need a boat. boat. Yeah. I don't know what it will take, but I have to go. <clears throat> Roads are dangerous, though. Men will try and capture me again. They will come with many. It will take many. But I have limits. Well, if you need a safe place to stay, my, on the way there, uh, I, I can. Yeah, whatever. I count him as a decent person uh he says he's honorable uh he's you know uh, terrifying so you know one very terrifying <laughs> uh, uh it's the burt sag farm uh, it's some of my extended family uh, they're outside of Bayan. Uh, a little not like on the way there but uh if you need some food uh you just tell them that you're a friend of mine uh and i'm sure they'll put you up for a day or two if you need it give you some supplies Hmm. That would be good. A safe place on the road. Or off the road, that is. Yeah, it's kind of out of the way. And send word. Bad if I just arrive. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can do that. I'm, I'm sure there's some caravans and things headed that way. We'll I don't know how the way. mailing... I don't know how the mailing system works in this. I mean, there's mail. <laughs> People carry it, like, right? Yeah. Um, either on foot or on horseback. Yeah. Don't know how reliable it is, but I was just curious. I mean, it's fairly re- It's it, They're not traveling with armed guards. It's like a lone yeah. person moving quickly, right? Yeah. So there's a cha- Like, mail can get lost because okay. they can get attacked on the road or whatever or lose their way. Or... Stuff can happen, but it's, it's about as reliable as any travel. Mm-hmm. Unless you're they, would a they carry a person who's like you know is a badass or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so someone out there is living out uh, Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, there's a courier doing a courier. Yeah, yeah. Yep. it's important. Uh, well, I'll see. Uh, I'll write up a letter to him. Uh, I mean, if you are willing to, I have a little package you could deliver to him as well. And favor for favor is fair. Yes. Okay. Can do that. I'm going to take 50 of that gold that I just gave him. I'm going to get a sack for it, and I'm going to give it to the bird sack. Only. Send it off to them to... I'm just going to write a little note that just says, Hey, this is... I, I know, you know, the field got messed up and so So this is just something I've earned. Help you out, and... Uh, I'm doing fine. So <laughs> just give them notice that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, it's just a friend of mine as well. I just like in, in case you didn't get my letter, 
this is a friend of mine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he nods. He seems perfectly willing to do that. Yeah. Um, Hattie will, t- it's to you, Eli, uh-huh. kind of lean over and be like, what, what, what if we help him get through the place? It's a very long trip. No, I mean like a job because he has money now. <laughs> You're suggesting that we get him to pay us the money he gave us to go out. That, that's too many steps within steps. I mean, we could see him off a ways, but I don't know about going all the way to the capital. It, that's. It, but far. I'm worried. You know how people are. It's not just bandits. There are people who, like, you know, try to, like, capture him and stuff. I mean, possibly, but... No one else is going to go with him, because he's big and scary. How much help are we going to be able to give him, (laughs) though? I don't know. Like, we know stuff. Like, you're smart. Hey, where's the... (laughs) What's the job we were taking? Sorry. The, The actual job we're taking. That'll be in Bayan. Bayan? We can at least go, go to Bayan. and then Bayan. Yep, we can at least go that far. Because we're going that way, so why don't we? We can at least come into Bayan. We can stop by the farm together, because that's okay. by Bayan, right? Mm-hmm. The bird sex farm? It's by Bayan. So we can stop by the farm together, stay out of the way, go that way. We can at least go that far with him and then see where we go from there. If, if everything goes smooth in Bayan, we might just keep heading west. Sorry, to be clear, you're meeting the the sponsor in Shand. Shand, but then the, the, the term, competitions. Yeah. yeah. So, so you'll be in the areas. area, I guess. Yeah, is the yeah, yeah. Thing. Okay, so yeah, we'll go all that way with him, um, and then we'll see if we can keep going from there. I think that's fine. Having him with us is going to make the travel a little more interesting, for sure. Need to get a cart or a wagon or something. Uh, which oh yeah sorry I was reading the chat um, so oh, sorry sorry you know well, here's what we'll say we have to do a tiny bit of, of retconning here that part of the conversation we'll say happens after you take the job because we actually haven't even introed sure. it yet okay. yeah okay. But, I was gonna okay. say but like, it's easy enough we... to say that happens that part happens after where he like he's there he's he's in the city then you yeah. have this conversation because he's been afterwards. there several days anyways so yeah. So uh, let's uh, let's show people what the job is. <gasps> El job. Oh when yeah. It shows this, up so, on your desk. Go ahead. Uh, so this is we voted for this one, guys. Everyone in the Discord should have voted for it too. Now we're gonna unveil what it is. Um. Everyone who was actually speaking of the Discord, at that time. I'm yeah. gonna drop a link for the Discord. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Definitely drop that Discord link. All of our other Just links are in our description, but they're named funny. Yeah, that's true. I named him funny. Well, it helps it's if fun. I actually pull up the chat window that I opened instead of just oh, Twitch yes. that doesn't have the thing. There we go. Discord. Um, so that's the... Oh, wait. This isn't the original one. This is the, the, the handout that I gave you guys. <laughs> that doesn't have the, 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 the other part of the description. Um, I guess we'll just have one of you guys read it. Now, uh... Do any of you have the sheet, the uh, the poll open? No, but that has I can the open des- it job descriptions. Quick. Cool. What? And I'll just put up a thing that's got it. Uh, it was in the into the storm discussion, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure it's looking the right place. Yep. Okay, I got it open. All right. Let's see. It was who wants sponsorship, right? Yep, that's the one. <laughs> All right, who wants a sponsorship? It's nearly time for the annual Setsy Spirits Path contest. Uh, I'm shall we say a wealthy investor looking for people to invest in the Spirits Path will take place in Bayan, as always, but I'll be holding some preliminary tests in Chan to determine who I'll sponsor. You'll need to find your way to the city on your own, but I can put you up and cover meals while you're here. This year, the contests include the traditional contest of the Spear, which is a combat tournament, Bow, which is an archery tournament, Mountain, which is survival, and Thrush, which is song. But this year, they're including two more, a Return of the Hound, which is a hunting challenge, and the new contest of the Star, Magic Contest. 
I'm sponsoring a single three-person team who will enter three contests. So bring your best. Completely unre- <coughs> excuse me, completely unrelated, but I'd absolutely love it if at least one of you has the gift of gab and is willing to meet some members of high society with me. Uh, there's some meta. This will be something of a mood of mystery, guys, and uh, with some large-scale contest elements. It should be a lot of fun. Um, and so basically, uh, we, we're going to try and go to Chan, meet with Clint Markham, who's the person who put up the job, try and win some contests, make friends in high places, have a lot of fun. Also, uh, we split a, a 15,000 gold piece first prize. Big prize. So if we win, there's obviously probably yeah. lower prizes, but that's yeah. that's the goal, right? Uh, oh, ooh, and we get medals. What and kind of medal? A specific prize for each individual contest. Don't eat it. Uh, and, uh, Is it biteable? He gets to keep the team trophy if we win. That's that's part of his thing. Uh, yeah. Clint Markham wants to keep the team trophy to, I'm assuming, display. Yeah. But yeah, uh, which is more than fair as the uh, sponsor for him to keep the team trophy. Yep. That's what he wants. And then this little handout that I pulled up is kind of the the, the view that I give them of like what the job is. Um, I need to also... Yeah, it should be in everyone's journals as well. Oh, that says Federo. I swear to God it said Fedora Archaeologist. <laughs> I was like, that's a very different thing. How Fedora does Archaeologist. An archaeologist of Fedoras. Oh, no. yeah. So this one dates back to the 28th. Um, um, let's... We'll, we'll get more into this here in a second. Um... But let's go ahead and take our break because we we haven't oh, taken yeah, one. Oh yeah, it's eleven thirty. I kind of forgot I, we were supposed to. <laughs> I know, right? Um, yeah, I can't believe but, uh, we just blazed right through that. Look, we were Brock talking with an Avrock. It was a little. Uh, it's important. Little tense. Yeah. Muy importante. So yeah, we'll come back at uh, we'll come back at eleven thirty-five central, um, and then we'll we'll do the last we'll do the last stretch straight. All right? Yeah. Or you know the correct time zone. <laughs> Away screen! Away. Hey, before we get back to uh, the unnatural ones playing Into the Storm, we're going to stop for a minute for our sponsor of this ad, or this thing. Uh, trip Flops. Have you ever been on an adventuring and thought, man, I really need to trip somebody with my shoe? <laughs> well, that's yes. where Trip Flops come in. <laughs> trip Flops, the amazing pair of flip flops that trip and tangle foot any and all people around you. Disclaimer, you like product is destroyed upon use. So bring an extra version. That's it. Well, <laughs> That's the I guess app. there's a reason. Thanks for uh, buying trip flops, folks. <laughs> Got up and every good every good ad ends with that's it. <laughs> I mean considering I came up with the ad because I tripped on flip flops walking back <clears> in the building, <throat> I think it was not terrible. <laughs> If you're tired of debooting all the, you know, poor bandits that you killed after that encounter, get a handy little uh, goblin called Boots Be Gone. He just runs through all the dead bodies and tears off all the boots. You just pay him, you know, a boot per, you know, encounter. Does he the left boots? ones? <laughs> all right, hey, so. <laughs> Yeah, we just need Harley. We don't need a boot. Yeah, I'm going back to face life now. <laughs> there we are, we're visible. Breaks over, folks. I related to Bones Be Gone. Oh, yeah. We, well, you gotta do the Bones Be Gone ad. Yeah. Yeah. That's I have a bunch that I could refine. But... You used to do from the makers of Boots Be Gone. Yeah. Bones Be Gone. <sighs> okay. I ate a whole lot of honey roasted peanuts on the break, so um So now your mouth is now it's time to drink water, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Be drinking a lot of water. Remember, um, it's peanut, not pea nuzzin. I can't turn my head hard enough to look at you confused. <laughs> I'm I'd be I have to be I'm still trying, I don't know. <laughs> 
It's literally because I saw the it's pecan, it, not pecan. And I was uh, like, Ugh. Uh, Oh, I was gonna say, like, are you in, in, insinuating that a peanut has like hair on it? Because uh, the nuzz like sounds like a kind of fuzz. Hand and I have discussed that uh, while uh, there are two ways to pronounce the well, two generally accepted ways to pronounce the word pecan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that. Uh, we always say pecan unless it is involving dessert, and then for some reason it becomes pecan. Pecan. Yep. Pecan, pecan pie. Pecan pie. Yeah. It is, it is always pecan until it's dessert. Anyway. Um... Job. Who yes, wants a sponsorship? Job. Yeah, that thing we're doing. This handout um, is essentially... Mayor's kind of write up of uh, of what he of what he's figured out on the job of the job. Um, some of it being um, some of it kind of being just transcribed from the words of the client, and um, some. But most of it is just like, okay, this is my interpretation. Try to get everything orderly. Um, this one, of course, comes to you directly because it is a rather big job. Um, that was. Sent out to, you know this that uh, this wasn't just sent to you, but you were one of the establishments that uh, that was invited to this. He's been, he would let you know that he's been uh, kind of going to different places, kind of rubbing elbows with different people to find out about this kind of thing, inquired about it, and then that's how he got this company, the invite. Um, this took a little bit longer to kind of make sure it was going to happen, and he's like, oh, here, cool. This oh, We got it. Here it is. Um, let you guys look it over. So your employer would be Clint Markham, an older demi-gentleman, once a Fodero archaeologist. Fodero Maniba are, um, think, uh, think kind of more of a typical adventurer's guild from the land of Delancha, which is where Sam is from. Um, the... Uh, Fodero Mani, Maniba uh, translates in one of their languages to they dig with their hands, essentially showing that they are a very old establishment of people who used to, you know, dig through the earth with their hands looking for secrets, mysteries, history, all kinds of things, right? I have mm -hmm. a affinity for the Fodero Maniba. I like these guys. Mm -hmm. um, he is Thulian, of course. Uh, he lived in Delancha for most of his life. Um, and he ventured on a famous ship called the Rain Maiden. Uh, Clint Markham is 65. He's been to Sekia for the last 20 years. He's a widower. We get to our persons of interest. I need to scroll down a little bit here. Let's see what they can see on chat. I don't even know how legible that is, but I hope it is decent. Um, Clint has a few kids. He has a few babbies. Um, his oldest is Miles Markham. Um, the son of Clint, of course, and Nomal uh, Nomalun, his late wife. Um, Miles is 30, once a noted warrior and swordsman, makes most of his public appearances in taverns these days. Um, I'm gonna, like, we'll kind of go around so that way everybody can participate. <laughs> it's not just me reading for the next right. 10 minutes. Um, so, Dave, uh, read about <laughs> Nomula. So, Nomula Markham is the oldest daughter of, uh, Clint and Nomalun Markham. She's 29. Uh, has established a small chapel to the Thunic Pantheon in Chan and teaches the values of temperism uh, and refuses to marry folks. Okay. Temperism being the uh, the primary religion in Delancha uh, and the primary religion amongst most uh, uh, Thulian people. Sam. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, but they mostly t uh, teach a lot of values of temperance, or te uh, yeah, temperance altruism, and kind of um, like this sort of togetherness and fellowship. Um, it is not a religion of, like, pacifism, necessarily. Um, there are warriors, you know, devoted to this, but uh, it is very much about being, like, treating others how you want to be treated and, you know, aiding the poor and that kind of thing. Very, very much focused on that kind of stuff uh, without getting too much into it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Molly, read about Daniel Markham. Daniel Markham, youngest son of Clint, Clint. and <laughs> No Maloon. He, they're age 25, lives in Balan with his wife, Turakina. They run a textile business, and they're expecting a son in the spring. 
Not much else to say on that one. Uh, Panda, if you want to read uh, Casimira. Casimira Markham. Youngest daughter of Clint with a T and <laughs> Numalun Markham. Numalun? Numalun. Numalun. Numalun Markham. Yeah. yeah. Uh, age 22. Shoe size 7. A promising fighter, proficient in the uh, in a uh, number of different weapons, at mm. odds with Miles, uh, betrothed to Lamal Dorat. Durat. Durat. <laughs> Durat. Uh, Durat. Uh, Hearth uh, Modric. Modric. Also the, Modric. known as the people who are trying to buy out my store. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. And then here's the job. The uh, participate in the annual Spirits Path contest as a three-person team. You'll need to pass a screening and preliminary exhibition to be accepted. Win or at least place in the top three of the team events in your categories. Your team will take part in three of the available contests. Spear is a combat tournament. Bow, which is an archery tournament. Mountain, which is a survival tournament. Thrush, which is a singing tournament. <laughs> fucking uh, American Idol for some of you. Um, <laughs> the, the Hound, which is a hunting contest, and the Star, which is new, which is a magic competition. Uh, and uh, you're also required to attend the Tower event with Clint, um, where you'll get to meet other sponsors and members of the Setsi royalty. Setsi doesn't really have royalty, but you know they're upper echelon. Pay the is, sucks. you guys will get three-fourths of the prize, the 15000 for first, 9000 for second, 3000 for third, uh, prizes related to the contest, and medals. Yay! That's the job. Um, yeah. That gets delivered to you guys. Um, or, it gets delivered to you first, of course, Eli. And... Let's see. Uh, Mayor says, know, uh, oh, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. Do we know, uh, uh, sorry, what kind of, uh, like, racial identity he has? Is he, uh, Demi? Is he, is and he's Demi. Oh. That's what it said. Yeah. Older Demi. He's Demi Thulia. Yeah. 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 I see the Demi now. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah. I assume that everybody else is Demi as well. Yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. His, cool. his kids are Demi. Um, Look, I come from a weird home, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you do indeed. Uh, you were saying, Mayor was saying. Sorry. Very good. No, no, you guys are just asking questions, it's fine. Um, Mayor will, uh, when he brings this to you, kind of tells you about how he got it and everything. He says, this is a, this is a very good opportunity. It's, it could really get the name of the business out there. And plus, well... It is quite a large sum, even divided. I think it's a great opportunity for us. The degree more plus this uh, gives us a nice excuse to uh, travel west with our new friend and make sure he gets at least most of the way where he's going, and gives us a little bit of protection on the road. Nobody wants to mess with him, especially if he's not alone. Um, though. <sighs> These events are not something as familiar to me. I attended them once as a child, but that's about it. Um, hmm. This tower event is more in your wheelhouse, sir. Of course, to you, Eli. Yeah, well, uh, that's fine. I mean, uh, you know, as much as uh, formal events are something I tend to excel at, I'm not a fan of them generally. But um, I think this will all be right, hopefully, up all of our alleys. It's a good opportunity not only to appease our employer on this job, but also to meet potentially future employers. Right. Uh, and plus, I could see more of I've You know, I've never really been that far west. <laughs> Most of our jobs have kind of revolved around this area of the country. They had a real reason to leave Sycon, so a bit of exploring is always fun. Uh, Clint, from what I can tell, is quite a is quite a character. A very jovial man. Lots of stories. I'm sure we'll get along famously. <clears throat> Though if you are doing this, um, 
we will need to respond quickly, and I believe at this point he's looking to run his first round of preliminary exhibitions somewhat soon. Well, yeah, then uh, I guess we definitely need to respond and uh, figure out a uh, travel situation to get ourselves all the way out there to uh, Chond. Do you have any idea which events you'd like to be a part of? Um, competing is a three-person team in each event, right? Yes. And um, while this is a national competition, uh, this will be your first time competing, which means you will be in the uh, the first timers bracket. Uh, you won't be competing with the veterans of the event. Uh, well, I imagine combat tournament probably. I've got two excellent combatants with me, and I can make up for some slack in that if we're doing you know three person team. Um, I mean, I'm interested in the mountain. I figured, yeah, survivals right in your wheelhouse, definitely. Mommy is pretty tough she can handle it i managed to get you know from gurga to here somehow um so at least that there um since you two are well sam you've got a little bit of magic maybe we could magic it up huh. i i can do uh a thing during the, you know at least a thing <laughs> if we don't do magic we could do hunting it's probably you know i'm confident in the magic i mean you're pretty good at it and i can back up if it hel if it helps uh, alleviate any worries the star competition is newer i believe it's being held in an effort for more people to uh, experiment with magical things both arcane and divine um hmm. it is not as a popular practice here in Sitsegia outside of shamans it's Highly likely, in a team event, that not every person will be quite proficient in magic, either. There will be an imbalance. So well, I feel like... much of a disadvantage. That's good, yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like that weights it a little bit in our favor, then. Because, um, I've been doing it for, you know, a long time. That's very true. You could say it's in my blood. Could. Uh, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's a bad joke. I didn't think he Very would funny, laugh. So. I didn't even get him to crack a smile. It never works. He's immune to jokes. <laughs> like, continue to as if he's not I'm in not, the room. I'm not, but he is. Yeah, as if he's not in the room and he's standing right there. <laughs> Just like, yeah. It was a funny joke, sir. And for the rest of you, I think your skills will manage, will manage with the other first attempts. Um, and take note of the fact that you do not need to finish first place, though you should try. Um, even, even should this not pan out to be the absolute best thing, it is something that will look good for your agency. Right, we write it off as a loss, even, at, like, starting out, right? We assume this is going to be basically an advertising mission or a mission of goodwill, right? So we start off thinking, hey, he's going to take care of travel, room and board once we get there, right? Mm -hmm. So all we're in the hole for is travel to Chand, which, sure. Like, okay. And then anything else we get on top of that is bonus because the real objective, like you said, is to get our name out there. Precisely. I think uh, we I can think look at it like that. It's a fantastic opportunity. Just do be careful. These types of events... Uh, what is released to the public, uh, what everyone finds out about, are the champions, the glowing spots on the events, but every bright light, as you know, casts a very long shadow. Well said. No, he wasn't talking to you. Anyways. You're not excluded so. from the conversation. <laughs> um. Hey, it's an average bear. Wow, like wow, wow. It took all of my willpower not to make a joke right there. But anyway, uh, he, He's been lurking. I know. Yeah. It's just and the first time I've sleeping. gotten to actually see his chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know we love you, JP. Yep. Um, 
Oh, so uh, uh, this is a weird time to say this. Hey guys, uh, we're not going to be playing Friday. I'm going to have to tell everybody else in the discord, remind me Patrick if we're done because I will be driving to Missouri. <laughs> well, wow. way to just disappoint me on stream. <laughs> I know. It's like seven minutes to go. They got through the whole night. Anyway, I'm gonna do it right now. my days <laughs> so ruined my expectations. <laughs> So, <laughs> still <my> thunder. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, you guys you, aren't in that Discord. <laughs> you yeah, guys have that conversation. Um, yeah, except you. the job, obviously. So uh, he goes and kind of drafts up a letter to, to send back to let them know that you're in. Uh, you need to leave within a one week to get there okay. in time. So you have mm-hmm. one week to prepare. Um, that includes, of course, uh, you're going to probably, I'm assuming, you want to find out a little bit more about this contest. Mm-hmm. Um, buy any kind of gear research. you guys want yeah um, and whatever other downtime you want to use during this time uh, but mostly preparing um, and leaving yeah, one week and I can tell you the rest of what um, since our uh, the contest you're going to participate in are, are picked I can tell you what Mayor knows about uh, the different contests. And he can tell you that the combat tournament contest um, in the teams event, with the, the three-person team events, will have two combatants and uh, one second. Because you're not just going to go out there and just wail on each other for like however long it takes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can think of it more like a sanctioned fight where there are rounds to it. You'll have like, you know, so much time to work. Excuse me. Before the round ends, those will be scored by judges, and then you come and meet back. Um, until either someone is incapacitated, or you complete each ra- all the rounds, you, you run out of rounds, and they judge who won the fight. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, you have so your two combatants are going to be in the arena fighting, and your second is basically, you can think of them like being in your corner. People who are looking out for different tells, weaknesses, different stuff that's happening, calling out, you know, like notifying, you know, the officiates of like cheating, anything like that. They have a pretty active job, plus tending to the combatants between rounds because y'all are going to be banged up. Um, So you guys, I have a feeling I know how that's going to shake out, but you guys have to decide between each other who's going to be the combatants, who wants to be the second. Uh, Especially because... Even though it is not explicitly stated, magic probably doesn't look good in the combat contest. Yeah, I was just assuming so, it's not allowed. So it is not explicitly stated, but like he gives he gives you very like like heavily implied they're not gonna weigh magic very well. Like Yeah, I'm I'm just assuming based on all of what we learned about the magic being newly added and everything it's probably just best not to use it except in that instance <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, you guys can discuss that but I have a feeling that's how, I know how that's going to shake out um, for the mountain contest um there is like the the preliminary because because they all have an exhibition that's like the preliminary to weed people out. Uh-huh. Um, also, the spear con- uh, test is a is a uh, double elimination contest. So if, even if you lose, you're not out. You go to a losers bracket and you'll continue. And if you if you complete the losers bracket, you'll get a chance in the finals. So nice. Uh, but that also means that if you come against like a particularly tough team, even though you beat them. Doesn't mean they're out yet. You might have to face them again. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's double elimination tournament. Uh, the mountain, it's the uh, the the weeding out process on the mountain one is probably the most brutal uh, mm-hmm. because it tends to have the most people involved. Um, he says it usually involves getting basically just like the, the simple task of getting from one place to another the problem is you are not really monitored between the two locations people tend to try to like incapacitate one another on the way to the the like the final location mm. plus the actual natural dangers that are in the area um, there are like 
there are rescue squads that kind of come through ever so often in case people are like beaten up or can't continue or whatever need need to be bailed out but they're not just like watching everyone like a hawk monitoring what they're doing and it is just not against the rules to beat the shit out of the other teams <laughs> or yes. set up traps or any of that stuff um so he tells you that one is definitely very brutal, and then once you get through that, it is a, a series of like escalating contests, generally against nature, but also against the other teams. Um, so they're um, in the kind of hills, in like sort of the central area of. Oh, I can actually move this off. The, oop, I can move this off the screen now. Um, in this like hilly area over here. Um, there are actually a few pretty fucking tall ones that you might consider mountains. Uh, it's pretty much this is like the high, the, the like the most elevated sort of point in Setsegia. Okay, kind of like uh, kinda like going through the Ozarks, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, not really mountains, but still kind of mountains. Yeah, but Bayon isn't over there, so they don't. So you know that that's not gonna be a thing. But you know, there's hills out this way, and it may okay. you may end up out there. Because the, the thing isn't just in Bayon. Right, right, right. That's just its hub. I should... Oop, boop. Bayon's way over here. About how long are the contests? I mean, like, the the, the, the whole thing. Is it a week? Is it a... It really... It uh, depends. It is okay. It is meant... It's meant to take place in a two-week period. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was curious. It's meant to take place in a two-week period. And then he doesn't know really anything about the star contest, other than what he's already said, like... It's new, so a lot of teams are not going to be just full of... Plus, the other thing he tells you is each three-person team is in three contests. Mm, so they're not yeah. just heavily weighted one way, right? Right. Um, so, so like, there's gonna they all have to sort of strike a balance. Uh, they're not all in the same three contests. So you have some that's that's got, like, you know people who are like combat specialists and one is a fucking singer you know <laughs> yeah so and so forth so you will you will see a lot of stuff and then of course the tower event is um something that happens kind of before and uh before the contests start and then sort of between the different contests and they actually go in the order that you see them so the the, the spear will be the first ones held uh, then they'll do the bow, then the mountain, then the thrush, then the hound, and then the star will be last. They're not all held simultaneously. Got it. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. Kind of gave you the info dump there to sort of round us out at the end. Um, we can pick up on the week before. We'll try to move through that fairly quickly next session. Uh, so try to have like an idea of if there are anything specific you want to do during that time. Uh, I'm not rushing you through if you want to like do any specific RP or anything like that. If you want to like talk to Farbrong, if you want to do some stuff with Hattie or Rahala or any of that stuff, feel free. But uh, sure. I, still I, that I will uh, just, I'm going to write this in my notes, but remind me to talk to Rahala to see if she wants to come with us because I know she might want to rub elbows with some of the fancy people and they're going to be there. Um, okay. Because obviously part of her job for me is not going with us to things, but this might be a thing she actually wants to go to, so I'm going to ask her about it. I put it in my notes, but I'm just saying it now, so it's out in the open. Uh, okay, makes sense. Were you saying something to Panda before we, before we outro here? I don't remember. Oh, uh, send that letter. Yeah, I'm going to send that letter to the Burks Hag family. Okay. Stating that we might stop by. I mean, and whatever in due time because I have a thing in uh, Bayan. Bayan. Yeah, Bayan. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. People in the chat are talking about waking up and sleeping. Yep. They're having a very interesting conversation over there. But that yeah. is the session. That's the session, y'all. Yes. No? That is the end of it. We's done for the night till next week. Thank you for coming, guys. Thank you all for coming. If you haven't joined the Discord, please join the Discord. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to take us to the exit screen now. You can always hit up our stars and wishes on our Discord as well, which is what you liked. 
Save me! Sorry, uh, yeah, <laughs> Star Wars is Yeah, good. I knew that's immediately what he's doing. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we do look at Stars and Wishes a lot for feedback, uh, even though yeah. mostly it's just us talking. But it's just uh, stars are, you know, what stuff you liked the most, the highlights of the session, wishes or things you'd like to see more of, or, you know, want to see explored more, that kind of thing. Just what kind of hopes you have to, to see in the campaign. Uh, positive, negative, constructive, whatever, right? Uh, feedback's feedback. And then uh, I'll let I'll let uh, Hyperphase there plug the other social medias. Yeah, we got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And so we'll have stuff on TikTok. Check out all those. Uh, we have links in the description of this. Also, uh, we have YouTube. We also have links on YouTube. But yeah, all the links are at the bottom of the page down here where it says about unnatural ones when you go down there. Uh, so just click on all those. And get any of that. Try and post updates. Try and make sure people know what's going on. And also, you know, you can ask questions. You indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Let's figure out a people to raid. Hey, Blue's playing Ghost of Tsushima. That's a good one. Anybody else on? Uh, Frank LaCour is playing Magic and also has the same exact amount of followers. <laughs> Literally 45. Yeah. Okay. Uh, people uh, on. Any other suggestions that have less than 45? Nope. No. There's these scrubs called the unnatural ones. They have five. Oh, wait. <laughs> we'll, we'll, just, we'll go ahead. Uh, Yogg's cast is on. They got 296. Well, yeah, they're going to have yeah. way more. Yeah. 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 They, uh. But they do well, it. Well, we like you too, Ellie. Reruns. Yeah, we yeah. do indeed like you too, Ellie. Thanks again. And yeah. it's time to raid. Talk to y'all later. Yeah. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. So weird to make out with your hand. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope yes. that's it.